Alright, this is technically not the start of the session yet, but we are live before we start the main session. Alright, then everyone say hello if you can, if you want. Hello. No. No. Hello, you two. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Hi. We are we shouldn't be here. here. We're just doing this because last session, or rather the fight, oh, fight portion of last session was not recorded so for posterity this is a podcast so before the fight happened what did happen before that retro how much ah oh, damn i thought you <laughs> no. come on there, there was literally two things that happened. um, um... We stole. No, we didn't steal. Um, we put a stone in the hands of a statue. And Before a that, and it went, <laughs> Even, oh god! This what happened? It was the same session. You remember? Not two sessions that is separate. It was the same session. Oh yeah, yes, definitely. Oh yeah, it was totally mm-hmm. one session. Um, we we went to a mountain. That was like symmetrical. That was kind of cool. Um, Even before that. Oh damn it! Um, past it, retro, I'm relying on you to have written notes. Let's see. It started in class. You didn't. You didn't do shit. Of course you didn't. You lazy bastard. Okay. Um, it started. Yeah, we did class stuff. Um. Oh yeah, this was it, it was the talent show. Yeah, is that what it started it in yeah. class, and you yeah. all got invited to the committee room to be told about um a mission that we had. We had to go and beat something up because we needed lanterns. Yep, and after that, and then we then we went to the fashion show. Correct, which. I think I think that's what. I, yeah, we went to there. Describe for a brief detail what even happened there. It was like people were walking down a stage, wearing clothes that they made. I think they made yep. them. Specifically, you were competing yeah, against made. teams of Grayson and Rubina. Melwithorn and Talana, and Earthsmuktok and Selen. Meanwhile, your team was represented by Midnight. Yes. And, and oh, company. It was just Midnight. I thought it was someone else. Oh yeah, that bullshit. Look, there was like <laughs> ten of you there. Anyways, after that happened, how much did the party win exactly? Because, yep, you all got gold. first place, and as a reward, you won the auction at 1,000 gold, which you all immediately yeah. spent on gear preparations. I didn't, I, well, I didn't spend all of it. I, I bought Nine. stuff that was useful, unlike everyone else. You guys wasted hey, what you Excuse me? I bought a hammer that bonks better. I, I bought healing potion. Hammer, though? You. Excuse it's, you? <laughs> it's because of me that you didn't get hit. <laughs> Ah, uh, but <laughs> did I need that though? I'm a yes, fighter. Yes, you would have gotten died. hit yes, like three yes. times. <laughs> well, who's supposed to take the hits anyway? That's not your job. Anyway, um, I just invested mine stuff. on potions. I just we bought stuff better. and we we went to the mountain. Some random shit happened. It was like. Yo, this place is symmetrical. And people were like, okay, let's split up. And we did. We went places. Murdoch doesn't know how to climb a rope. He figured that out. <laughs> uh, we studied a statue. We stole a stone from Gion. Well, we didn't steal it, but, you know, we put it on the thing. The thing started spinning. And then Articuno came out of nowhere and tried to kill us. <laughs> And well, I guess it'd be Zappo, yep. And it's yeah, by then we can transition 
to this. Because after that, we might... I have the, the VOD here set up at two times speed so I can just give a live commentary as we're waiting for our last <laughs> member to join. Whoa. So, as the fight begins at the top of Symmetry Peak in Quandrix Campus. Well, we start by rolling initiative. Okay, everyone sees Freddy hiding. Okay, the main threat was the tyrannical Thunderbird. Uh, elemental cousin from the Phoenix family of creatures. Specifically, this one was a particularly, well, old one in terms of how much power it has compared to its normal compatriots. Fight starts off by everyone getting the right idea of spreading the fuck out because this thing damages you just by moving. And essentially, oh, we have some time to spare, so... Yep, everyone spreads out a bit here, and Polaris, being, well, the one concentrating on giving Sinatus and Gion fly, decides to try and climb up the side of the cliff, which he fails because nobody in this group other than one exercises. <laughs> Tyrannical Thunderbird starts out the fight just by taking a defensive stance and taking the dodge action, causing a couple good few shots of everyone to miss. It has legendary actions, which we got to find out, allow it to, one, move up to 120 foot feet of speed once more, which it used quite effectively there to damage everything along its path, just by moving, getting behind Gion. Another one of its legendary actions was simply just to make an attack, which honestly missed a lot, but that was a good thing in the end. And another, what was its last legendary action? It used it to move, it used it to attack, and oh yeah, the other legendary action was one that costed two out of its three legendary actions, the swoop maneuver in which it moved and struck at the same time. And that's basically how the first part of the fight went. Everyone just moving out of range, Sinatus keeping aggro by being the only one actually tanky enough to take hits from this thing, or rather not take hits as Murdoch casted protection from good and evil on our little tank here, causing everything from an elemental to deal well to to attack with disadvantage against him specifically. Which proved to be effective. Over there we see Arley setting up a Totemora, where and then probably getting damaged by this thing just moving. Through the combination of Midnight and Sinatus, this thing got affected by two debuffs, Hunter's Mark, as well as Hexblade's Curse. Arlay summons some giant vultures to help in the fight, which Murdoch tries to ride on the back of, shoots, shoots the Thunderbird, right at causing it to fall under half HP and trigger a phase 2, in which it explodes in a burst of lightning and reveals its true form. And this, Whoa. viewers, is where the real fight began. Because as it transformed into that second phase, uh. it managed to clone <laughs> four tiny versions of itself that arced lightning to the main body, causing, well, anything targeting the main body to attack with disadvantage until, well, the four fractalized versions of itself were defeated. That gave them quite a problem. In the, in the preceding few next turns, which, well, let's just say were not pleasant as the party was struggling on even figuring out how to not have someone fall to zero every few seconds. So with a bit of ferrying potions and while helping each other out take down one of these little fractalized thunderbirds, the fight, well, lasted quite a bit. I think that was... Yeah, I think the whole fight lasted six rounds, and that was actually within half. Yeah. Murdoch on the back of the Vulture, just trying to essentially snipe the little fractalized Thunderbirds out of the sky. Meanwhile, Gion and Sinead is taking the brunt of the force, Arlay and Midnight struggling to stand up at the back, keeping support up. Polaris still keeping Fly active. And essentially... Maybe we can skip forward. Skip forward a bit. It's at this point where the Thunderbird's HP was revealed and revealing that you were only about halfway done. And eventually, after calling after Arlay, is this? No, I don't think this was the Nat 20 revival. Somewhere in this fight, Arlay revived on a Nat 20, which was epic. I think it was a bit after this one, though. 
Arle uses an action to call Polaris into the fight, allowing him to provide some extra blasts at the cost of potentially losing concentration on fly. Which, in the end, turned out to be something the party needed as combined as combining efforts with Finn, Polaris manages to take out one of the fractalized Thunderbirds, causing there to only be two left. I, I think Murdoch takes out one of them, and Arle and Co. takes out the last one, eventually. Causing the fight to start to turn hopeful again, as... Oh yeah, uh, no, that, not, that hasn't happened yet. After the fractalized Thunderbird transformed, it gained a new set of legendary actions. One of them involves using two out of three of its legendary actions to cause a swirling storm that sucks everything up onto a point where it teleports and leaves behind a thunderous explosion. And, well, teleports and a... Uh, I don't think it actually used the maximum, so I can actually tell you all that it could, could have teleported up to 100 feet if it wanted to. And its other legendary action was replaced instead of a beak or a peck, it was actually replaced by one of its talents, which are only ever so slightly stronger from 2d6 leveling up to 2d8. Oh, yeah, at the beginning of the fight, the Fractalized Thunderbird also did not do entirely pure lightning damage. It used a combination of piercing and lightning. In this form, however, it used lightning and force. Oh, hey, hi. Oh, there he is. We're, ju we're just doing a recap. Live streaming the VOD. Okay, yep, and it was at this point where yep, people have been starting to deal damage to it, and oh, that was the killing blow. Well, let's rewind a bit. Arle revives on the Nat 20, people shoot it down, and eventually, with the power of friendship, teamwork, and a bit of, and two sticks of dynamite, the party managed to take out the Territorial Thunderbird. <laughs> earning themselves a party-wide inspiration for, full the, for fulfilling the promise of killing a super boss with two sticks of dynamite. It was... Oh yeah. Epic. After yeah, that, however, yeah, yeah. is when the party encountered, well, a friend, you could call him? Who's, who's to say? Entering the shed, as, as well, Gion and Polaris have discovered, someone have tampered, or at least Walk inside the shed inside Symmetry Peak, or at the top of Symmetry Peak, before, and well, while it may be likely to also have been students, what's revealed is that their old friend, or is rather the pilot, the mysterious infiltrator, reveals herself as. Let me double check the name again. Yeah, someone familiar to, well, Midnight specifically. The pilot of the Mage Predator is none other than. Yep. Olea Fawn. Olivia's. Whoa. Missing sister. After a bit of a skirmish involving you all beating her initiative and refusing to let her use any of her assassin abilities, which <laughs> I will tell you now is getting advantage and critting, which you all thankfully avoided, as well as Midnight straight up. Not allowing her to use sneak attack by inflicting frighten. So midnight, good on you. After a bit of a skirmish after that revelation, Olea gets reduced to critical health, swiping with the psychic tail, attacking with piercing needles. More on a level down version of her mechanical body, or even more mechanical body, should we say? She takes a retreat. As come, well, the back of the shed is a large gray hand that's about to split the shed in two. So as the mage predator turns invisible and makes for a retreat, the party is left, well, wondering what the fuck caused that. And now the shed is actually split in two, revealing itself to be an archaic, which I will actually ask you all. What did it say? Uh, it, it was talking to us about someone missing or... And yeah, the vision it gave Dion then to yeah. us. It was a real arcade. Basically the closest thing this world has to gods. Showing the party a vision. 
of who they can presume to be Lila ascending to godhood, an alternate version where she is struck down by one who claims to see the masters behind the puppets, whatever that means, as well as mentioning to the party there is faith, one of them is missing, and weak. Whether that means Lila in her current state is weak, or the party is weak, nobody's really sure as these things like to be cryptic. Hello there, YouTube channel. And, well, they disappear, leaving the party with a renewed sense of direction and a bit of magical power granted to them, granted to them leveling them up to level 7. And that is where we pick off. As I am now going to end my part here, <laughs> and we're back. Wow. As the morning sun once again rises atop the dormitory <clears> of <throat> Strixhaven's central campus. It is the immediate day after your little mission at Symmetry Peak, given that you were all pretty damn tired. Assuming to claim your rewards from the committee once their next class at Warhold is in session, everyone is once again fully rested. Everyone has taken a long rest, refresh everything you need, and, well, do people want to wake up in an order, or who wants to go first, as we are, once again, waking up? Let's roll for it again. <laughs> Oh, you all I'm already probably out there making breakfast. It's gonna. It's gonna walk out first. I um. Mm. It is the morning. Walk out first. I'm oh, awake yes. anyway. Make food. Of a weekend to be specific. I'll do. Do Freddy and Venom get. Resummed. Yeah, Freddy. Freddy gets resummed. <laughs> the money. Murdoch heads. Murdoch heads out first, followed by Finn and then Freddy, to an empty room. No, seems no one's well, out of their rooms just yet. Bob's still wearing no invitation hat. Aww. Morning, Bob. Morning. Whoa. Anybody else awake yet? Not from what I have seen. And I have seen many things. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. I'll just sit down at the on the couch. Anyone else wanna wake up? Sure, Jan wakes up. <laughs> yeah. Jan oh. just comes out like half dead. And it's like, is it the weekend yet? It is. He just plonks himself down on the couch. You okay? Do I look okay? <laughs> no. <laughs> you were right. Yeah. <laughs> Redox looking surprisingly fine for someone who fell 20 feet in the air. <laughs> Oh yeah, that happened. I mean, I always look dead, so... You all get up to some crazy things in your sleep. Uh-huh, let's just say that. <laughs> oh god. I just... Don't say it. Gion got his gift Petro, from me. No. Who's <laughs> <laughs> next? Me. I'm gonna just go and make breakfast. Oh god, it's a keck. I forgot it exists. Oh, they're, oh, they're, they're reacting on stream again. <laughs> Anyways, the names busts out the door and sees while Murdoch, Gion, Marlot, Finn, and Freddy already there, along with Bob still wearing his mm. invitation hat. That's staying. Oh wow, I'm gonna say morning. 
Morning. I'm gonna rub sleep out of my eyes. I'm gonna go to the kitchen. You're just I'm gonna making... head out. Yeah, what are we making? Well, as you had that, something actually happens, which I was wondering how fast this was going to trigger. Oh. Now, now it is then. As soon as you open the door in front of you, you see the empty hallway. Very convenient in timing, you see the opposite door at the other end, also open as busting out. Oh! Why oh, is this convenient? He says from the back. Uh, do we do this? I'm not sure. There's enough for everyone, isn't there? Morning! Morning. Today is still dead. Yeah. <laughs> uh. I have not mm. to ask. Yet. Well, everyone else up? Something uh, we want to show you all. Someone? Well, for someone who isn't the host, you're sure excited about this, Amanda. Alright, you all? I'm gonna look back at the room. Well, as that's all happening out there. Who next? I'll go next. We just <sighs> <laughs> roll out of bed, getting dead. <coughs> just kind of look at Roxy. <laughs> yeah. Head her, a good, head her a good morning, give her some food, and well, let's put her on the shoulder and walk out. <laughs> And they walk out to you for a bit of lively commotion already happening, whether or not Gian or Murdoch are making small talk, some some people are chanting up you in the hallway. And then midnight, or unless you want to go anywhere. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna put Roxy on my shoulder, then pop on the couch. Good morning! I see I'm not the only dead one. Well, you weren't the one who mm. almost actually died. In quotation marks. I mean, <laughs> are, are we counting? Well, aside from, you know, <laughs> yeah. the night, Gion. I mean, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm counting uh, how many times we went down. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, let's just say everyone's all dead today. Murdoch, we're part of your gang now. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Finally. Finally. Show us the ropes now, it's done. Mmm. Well, as you're all shabbing it up. Midnight. How are you feeling? Oh yeah, midnight. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> midnight got all of the. Uh, dead. Venom would be in the mood to slap you again if he didn't know how many times you also went. No, I'm just gonna go out Venom side. slaps you, you die. <laughs> and with the, the last person looking equally dead as well. Polychrome once again. Meets up at the center. Well, I'm gonna look back to Good morning. The others. Well, they're all up now. So. Okay. Whatever it is you wanted to do, might as well do it now. Well, that's what I want. Amanda? Olivia? Do I really have to? Yes. Fine. Okay. And while popping out, popping out of the door, leaning forward with her with her hair hanging down, Amanda gives you all a hello and hey. Almost not even noticing how dead the room feels. Just. <laughs> <laughs> oh hey, Amanda. We got some hey, company. Uh, 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 so here's the thing, and essentially after. A bit of a bit of a tan a bit of a tangent and a bit of a preamble. Amanda eventually gets to the core of what's happening. So Olivia's fa Olivia's family sent her some 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 food from from their hometown. Uh, Want to eat? 
it's a bit too much for just us. Mm. Uh, and all the while, everyone just sees Olivia turning around, just facing her palm. Why not? Saves me making breakfast. Maybe I can learn something new from it as well. OG, OG, BRB. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, sure. <laughs> you have fun eating that. You know what? I'm a waste. I'm always food. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a pat Amanda on the shoulder. I'm a point at the wall. Hey, look at that. Huh? Then when she's looking away, I'm a turn into her with alter self. Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> Copy paste. This is... Boop. <laughs> wow. I don't know how to do an Amanda voice. <laughs> do it. <laughs> way do it. Um. Uh. I'm trying to think of it. Wait. She probably she has a high pitched voice. Hello. Oh. A A A plus voice actor. Oh, <laughs> wow! Wow! Yes. Am uh, I? Is it just me, or am I seeing two Amandas? I... Oh, so I'm not the only one with weird eyes. I want some cupcakes. <gasps> what do I? God. Oh. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so I must still be dreaming. I'm just rubs eyes. <laughs> My lady just goes back to sleep. It's too early to deal with this shit. <laughs> My lady just smacks again and see if that does anything. <laughs> Ow. Ouch. Mm -hmm. Who I'm makes cupcakes? They still do. Mm. Well, I don't have cupcakes, but I think, I think Olivia brought muffins. Oh! I have to really check myself. Oh, I'm done there yet? I'm gonna stay like this for the whole hour, by the way. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I'm back. Welcome back, hi. You're not seeing Olivia. two Amandas. Olivia looks into the room and... Are you all up for this or let just go? <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I think they want to eat. Let's Nodding. Go, Nodding as well. Hmm. Uh oh. and as uh, well they What the fuck is happening here? I'm a follow man. <laughs> oh my god, I need a But I guess we should follow them. And Gan walks too. Your familiars are coming with you. I'm just not moving them. <laughs> I'm coming and also rock. I'm just bringing bringing rocks here because why not? Nobody else walks them, so you just do it. Yes, she needs still... da daily water. Oh hi, Ozzy. Hello, yeah. Ozzy. Amanda duplicated herself. What happened? I... <laughs> Onward, upwards. <laughs> what did she do? Well, I'll see you she all again. Cut out. <coughs> oh, I love yeah. how Ozzy is questioning Amanda, not anyone else. We actually prepared it all the way out here if you all well, are fine with eating outside. Lovely day out. Yeah, why not? Oh. Where'd brother go? 
I think he went to the bathroom. Mm. Oh my god. Alright then. And well, I'll just change really his voice, sick. right? Yep, it does. Yeah, okay, so. <laughs> Where is it, Hades? <laughs> <laughs> Ozzy, nice. Ozzy also didn't find a clue. <laughs> Ozzy is telling the demand out that it's Damn. Wait, I saw it for a split second. <laughs> <laughs> what is. Ozzy, you should. <laughs> wow. And as they all head out. And here, it's everyone. It's right there, Ozzy. Just... The power of the over here and just. Ta-da! Where everyone can see pretty much three whole sets of picnic baskets full of fresh fruit. Some, well, big, some big goods. A bit of, a bit of dried meat and everything, and essentially, well, corns and other such. It's country food. Ah. Wow. Oh, I'm so many. Oh, uh. Dig in. Well, Amanda immediately goes to other Amanda <laughs> and, <laughs> and starts rummaging for the cupcakes. Yeah. Or rather, muffins. We're searching. Well, uh, what's everyone doing? Well, you don't know, I'm looking for cupcake <laughs> muffins. Dan will sit down and nibble on something too. I'll also yeah. <laughs> I'm not in the mood to eat. Can I can I read my book while I sit there? Sure. Nice. Uh, damn it! Uh, oh my god! <laughs> hey! Whoa, my None goodness! for today, it seems. The whole ravage of cupcakes is done. Ah, hold on. Uh, my earphones died. Can't hear. Am I feeling up to it? Midnight. Say this came from your family, right? <laughs> it's from Ma, but really it's... It's from the whole village. They... are a bit too doting, sometimes. Really quite good. You should try some. Mm, very good. I, honestly, I think it's pretty sweet that your whole village cares about, about you like that. Did they really have to send three whole baskets, though? What, were they thinking I was starving out here? Vegan? <laughs> oh my god. Well, a lot of it, a lot of it is. We have to rely on crops to feed ourselves. Is Midnight a fucking vegan now? I mean, I guess it makes sense, the bunny. <laughs> the be vegan bunny. Oh, it's them. <sighs> All right then. And well, after a bit of time, showering down, getting some energy, this yeah, quite good. Energizes you, energizes you quite, quite a bit. It's a fresh take from Sinatus as usual. Perhaps to, perhaps for all of you, it tastes fresh. Like well. Fresh breeze blowing on all of you in this fine morning. Well, some time passes where everyone's just chilling in. You do all feel some of the tiredness wash away. As well. It's nice. Just nice mood. Nah, I'm still tired. Yeah. <laughs> uh, some of it goes away. Just some. Hmm. You all look like you've been through something. Committee work? Keep it. Ask from the other table. 
one percent. Yeah, that and just prep for the fashion show has been rough. <laughs> it's finally uh, taking a toll. That was quite pretty. Glad you liked it. Thought they rocked it on stage. <laughs> should we like leave or should we stay? <laughs> Do you fall? This is everyone leaves except Olivia at midnight. We force midnight to stay here. Yeah, we wanna one if not for me. Hmm. Just kidding. I think, it, I think that's a, re a reasonable conclusion. It's all thanks to Arle and Dion. Aww. Hmm. Sweet. <laughs> They're still keeping it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the entire hour, you're gonna have to deal with this. Uh, and... Maybe they typing something? Uh, oh, this cheers you up again. <laughs> Why is there two Amandas again? Uh, I don't know. She just kind of came out of nowhere. Oh. It's Israel. Hmm. Is it you? Is it me? Is it both? Oh, maybe you're my long lost twin. Ah. You also enrolled here? Yeah. He was just chuckling. <laughs> <laughs> this oh, is amazing. The love of the this is incredibly yes. amusing to watch. Deepa <laughs> uh, just breaks off and just hangs out near the flower beds away from this energy. <laughs> Jan <laughs> pushes mid off the table. Damn. And points. <laughs> and points. <laughs> Damn. Well, go. go. <laughs> and then he goes back to watching the Amanda's. Damn, I don't know what's going on. What even happened? Gion pushed you because he wants you to go and flirt with Olivia. Oh. <laughs> Still waking up. Why'd you do that? <laughs> it's still got no pinching. <laughs> Who's that? Olivia's just quietly munching on a sandwich all over here. Points. This is just sad. Yeah, I'm not approving. Peer pressure. Mm. Tasty peer pressure. Mm. Hey, sorry for interrupting your lovely munching, but I need to tell you something. Oh god. Oh here? god. Uh, most are here? Damn. <laughs> all places. Of all the places. Yeah, right Zazie in the middle of... <laughs> Oh, was Ozzy here last time? I don't think she was. 
Do you know Ozzy? What? Is that Olivia? That's that answer's that. Yeah. He doesn't know. <laughs> Olivia murdered half of campus. Let's not talk about it here. Hmm? All right, then, Mysterio. <laughs> mm. Damn, they already have pet names. They've been a hell of a giant All right. Go back inside. Hmm? Damn, get to the room. Oh, you Damn. didn't hear it clearly. Right, I said, oh, that's something? I said Midnight's uh, in love with Olivia. Oh, and I accidentally deleted her said. portrait from the token. Let me get that back. <laughs> oh no. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> I just have to click. I just have to. No, I just, I just have to click and drag it. It's literally just, oop, there we go. Now it's back. <sighs> uh, yeah. Olivia looks, looks, Olivia looks back to just the table before Diva looks, looks equally back at her and just nods. Uh, Alright then. I will wave her goodbye. And everyone sees these two just go back inside. Like all the way back? <laughs> before they leave, um, I'm gonna yell, If you see brother, could you tell him to come here please? Okay. Oh, oh god, he's playing. That's no, not working again. There we go. A whole yes. hour. Yeah, nah. Feel free to just talk to each other in chat while you're doing that. <laughs> what the fuck? What are they doing? Damn. Are they. Back then. Before they got married, it was so sad. This far enough? Nate's doing a little trolling. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, he's. Why the fuck not? I got him. Might as well use him. Shit. You know how little I get to use spells outside of combat? <laughs> This might be a little shocking, but... Engaging in a minor amount of tomfoolery. <laughs> you just see her ears perk up a bit. I saw your sister. Uh, what? Okay, something is up for the executed one. Are you sure you got a lot of sleep? It's not a joke. Wait. What? You're serious right now. Must be. Must have mistaken me. 
someone else. No way. We've been shirt. I'm sorry, but it really is hurt. Look. I trusted you enough to believe you at your worst, but this. <laughs> I feel like there's something else you're not telling me here. We really can't tell anyone about this. So I can't give you the full story. What? What exactly are you guys all up doing? Processing all this. I'm really sorry. It's fine. Really. I'll just figure it out. I'll just figure it out myself. You can go back to the others. Tell them I'm heading to class early. See you another time. Are you sure you're okay? I'm fine. Oof. Big F. This route is now locked for the rest of the gameplay. <laughs> okay, I'll do this in case. Right now, after you told her, we fought well, your sister. That ended like that. Yeah. That was definitely a thing that happened. <laughs> I think you watched too much at it. Well, what now? You gotta go and leave a note in her locker. I'm gonna go back to the others. After like <laughs> five to eight minutes, everyone eventually sees Midnight come back. What the fuck was happening here while that's happening? Amanda chatter. Just. However, that goes. Everyone sees Midnight come back without Olivia. Hmm? Damn, what did you do to her? <laughs> <laughs> Olivia heading out then? You want to class early? Uh, oh. Never mind then. Didn't say it. Goes back to eating. Yeah, well, that's just who she is. I'm just reading Grandma's book. And Ben, I just hear. I think I'm stuffed. Mm, me too. Mm. Yeah, it's best to give her some space. Oh wait, she said class, but rather it's more job probably. It's the fucking weekend. That's mine. Yeah, I was gonna <laughs> say, isn't it the weekend? Job. <laughs> Laura, damn, who got your wife's name? I said Laura, Laura not Mora. 
It's not uh, you said Laura. I was like, I, I, I was like, wait, who the fuck is named Laura? This isn't, this isn't the Genshin Impact that Mora. Well, I, I had to pause for five seconds of remembering <laughs> if I forgot an NPC. <laughs> I was like, they're like, who the hell is Laura? Okay. I said Laura. Yeah. Wow. I uh, we heard Laura. Most of us heard Laura. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Damn. Oh, no. Wow. But yeah. Well, that's Arlie going to head there. I thought you said Mora. Uh, I was like, this is not Genshin Impact. Don't worry, we can clean up here. Y'all heading out to do your own thing then? I guess so. Hmm. Yeah. Is that this point where it would be around the time for you all to get to your specific downtimes? Yeah. So Natus is gonna shake. Other Amanda's hand. Hmm? Oh. It was nice to meet you, but I have stuff to do now. Maybe we can see each other again. And then I'm gonna go away. Uh, see you next time! No, 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 stay, Amanda, stay. And oh, yeah, it's like, no, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Hope you all chat for a bit, I got some... Not got my phone to deliver, so feel free to resolve what the fuck is happening there. Mm. Yeah, I don't know, it's just I fun. I would have <laughs> used an inside check, but I already still tired for any of that. <laughs> There's just two Amanda's now. That's a thing yeah. that exists. Like, <laughs> Didn't most of us <laughs> see him transform, though? I thought he, uh, maybe I thought he transformed just thought... outside the door. Nah, he was inside, I think. It's up to you whether you know. I just, I just let Arlie not know because she was tired. So she, early she just thought, thinks she thought she was still dreaming or something. There are two Amandas and Sinatus is dead. I think Gan would have figured it out by now, which is why he's asking Amanda to stop. I mean Sinatus. I mean, I mean it's it's not hard to figure out. But Exactly. How do you know that this is that Amanda? Huh? Uh. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> oh boy! Be, this could be the uh, this could be the fake, not fake, the real Amanda. You're telling to stop right now, and you're stopping her from saving the world. You never know. Anyway, yeah. alter self. I like this spell already. I get this. I get Alter Self for free at level 14 with Freya, so you can expect shenanigans. Oh boy. That's, that's gonna. Impose. Freya already causes so many chaos. Imagine that with Alter Self. <laughs> I'm gonna just turn into Oberon and go kick down some doors and get him in trouble. Is. Are you all still going with this? I'm gonna. Is. Is. Is Gion like stopping me from going or is he just like saying hey no stay Dead. Hmm. you know what he, he he'll he'll give you that look that like he knows and see what you do after that yes, hmm. yeah it's just like <laughs> I, I don't want to see it, but he looks at you like you're him, like you're sus. <laughs> Kick. Yeah, I mean, I could stay, but there's candy waiting to be in Misty Step. <laughs> oh my wow. god. Okay. Wow. Okay, I found the gif. Yeah. To Misty Step, you have to go to a place you can see, yeah, and every I'm gonna just... <laughs> everywhere Step you can see, Gion also sees. <laughs> well, who cares? I'm gonna go over that way anyway. Or you're Misty Stepping over the wall or something? Can I see over the wall? <laughs> you can see on top of the wall. I'll go on top of the wall. <laughs> Gion just sees, uh, poof, and then just a 
Amanda going over the wall and then falling Wait, over and then the wrong, sounds of them. Let Misty Seb go. Well, meanwhile, while they're I'm all doing so that, <laughs> I only use one, and oh, then I use my free Misty free. Step. Oh, yeah. Meanwhile, our leg goes in and. Oh. Morning. Right, now kiss. <laughs> mm, uh, I think I'm gonna spy on the little Amanda. picnic out there. Y'all came okay, back then? I guess so. Hmm, I see. Oh. How about you, house? You. Being a fourth year. Uh, it's going all right, surprisingly. With, well, second, second exams coming up near, so I gotta prepare for that. Really a bit more of, well, or organizing work in aid of the committee. Just some minor stuff, materials we have to loan to them, such, so, such and such. We have a couple of outfits we could also then donate, so we've been handling some well, transactions over that. And, well, just... Planning for graduation, I suppose. Hey. <laughs> so long ways about, but gotta think about well where I'll be after that. So it's probably likely I'll stay here working. Uh, uh but you all, how's third year treating you? So far. <laughs> do, we, do we tell her? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, we got fucked up by a big ass bird and told some cryptic shit by a giant. And uh, nearly eaten whole by a land shark once. <laughs> and assassinated by a mechanical. Yep. <laughs> oh, fox, you know now. Twice! <laughs> I, I, I can, I can well, just see, like, if this was animated. It's just a seamer RNA, and in the background, it's just all the events happening behind her. <laughs> yeah. Can I spy on them as Amanda? <laughs> I mean, I suppose so. Yeah, <laughs> nice. <laughs> Wee! I got clipping through walls. Oh. Uh. Anyways, I guess so far so good. We're busy with mini duties. And also, <laughs> yes, the toll on the fashion show just dawned on us again. I, I mean, not again, now. Alright, heard about that. Actually, check out the papers from Mina. You all did great. Glad you all got first place. That was, well, was spectacular. Well, it, it was spectacular. your work, right? Oh, I see. You're all learning to get along well. I'm glad. I was gonna say something, but I forgot. Hold on. <laughs> uh, Llama's in VC2 doing luck steals, and he rolled a three. Meanwhile, yeah, what the heck is happening so. over here? There's people, the three here are just cleaning up. You three talking about anything? Cheating. <clears throat> you all got anything planned for the weekend? I do, actually. Oh? No, just talking to some people. Ooh. I might be doing that extra credit assignment soon. Hmm. Oh yeah, that thing. <laughs> You're not here. Oh, you I'll be spying on gay people. people. <laughs> wow. What a great yellow. Oh. Spying on gays. Morning. Got what you want to say, out snow? Oh, yeah. I just remembered now. Alright. Beep, 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 beep. Meanwhile. <laughs> 
I oh my god, Amanda, <laughs> just in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not. It's, just ask. Um, well, since we're here, I'm just gonna ask. Are you planning on joining the masquerade? Oh. Hmm. Well, I was planning on helping as one of the side attendants, but I suppose they never actually did make concrete plans on attending the event myself. It is looking away, twiddling bangs. It's it's a very obvious. <laughs> oh. I wouldn't be asking this if I didn't have one purpose. And then she just crosses her arms with a smile. Burp smile. Burps. Uh, here I am, a senior. <laughs> Wanna take you there? What? You cut off for me. Wanna, th wanna take me there? Your wish. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. I will say that. I don't care. I will say that. <laughs> Amanda? Amanda rolls stealth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Please right. fail. <laughs> Please fail. I actually have pretty. Oh, that's a plus one. It's not the best. Do you have. <laughs> I love it. Arlay, since you're. Between a wall, roll. I highly doubt. Roll rather than passive, but just in case. Okay. No, wait. I'm gonna use my. I'm gonna, actually, I'll use my DM inspiration. Oh my god. <laughs> <What>? Okay. <laughs> that one better. Okay, roll, roll on that one. Oh nope. god. Nope. Creak. <laughs> and then Arne just blushes. <laughs> Why did I say that? I should have known. <laughs> you realize there's someone there right now. <laughs> yeah. uh, she just shrieks. You realize you made noise. Uh, yeah, but you she, do she, anything yeah. about it. I pretend to be a Looks statue. The <laughs> oh my god. That seems like something Amanda would do. <laughs> <laughs> Looks at the creep. Well, uh, just a, Nora tries to pretend that nothing's there. <laughs> uh, I, that. Well, Arlene can big... ignore it, so she just shrinks in her wings. If I took invisibility, I could be in the room right now. But oh. I took all to herself, so I have to be a statue. It's okay. See you there, then. Great. Great. <laughs> Great. Just she's, lovely. She's just... <laughs> She's just embarrassed now with uh, oh, that she, it, it, someone heard her. Just Nora grabs whatever she was holding on to here and takes the door to the kitchen. <laughs> Meanwhile, I am gonna wall shape into a cat and it's. <laughs> I'm gonna pick up the cat because it's a cat and it's cute. I'm gonna you run. open the door can as I, well. Can I run before it catches yeah, me? Yeah, I I suppose so. Okay, good. Um, <laughs> Naga boost. Naga boost. <laughs> Well, Bl Tom and Jerry, well, while they're doing that, you feel free to resolve that however you want. I catch you. <laughs> you three talking about anything else? You are not here. I'm just gonna stand up and go. Nope. <laughs> okay. As Murdoch stands up and goes and grabbing bags, grabbing packs and everything. Before you do stand up midnight, Lila actually walks closer to you. Oh. Uh, Mr. Midnight, sir? Yeah? Are you going to Silvercoal Campus by any chance? Oh. <laughs> yes, I, I just wanted to ask. I'm heading there myself, and we're heading the same direction. Uh, want us to come at each other? I wonder where brother went. 
why not? Uh, thank you, Ben. Well, well, we'll get ready. I'll wait for you, then. And I would ask Young what he's saying, but he's currently a robot. <laughs> Meanwhile, Arlie is oh. embarrassed Catboy. Meanwhile, while we're waiting for the suit to return, what the fuck's happening here? It just... I'm gonna go, Try and I'm gonna give the cat to Nora. Kind of. <laughs> well, what, what would that be? An athletics from Sinatus and ac acrobat acrobatics or Dexy from Marley? Nah. <laughs> no. I would play the Benny Hill team if it wasn't copyright. <laughs> <laughs> oh, athletics. Mm. I guess I I guess it doesn't change my stats. I'm just a strong Amanda. Fifteen. Cat deck. Oh, cats probably have high decks. What? Oh my fucking god! Ram. I break her. Nothing happens. She yeah, just still going. Up. She just gives up. <laughs> if she gives up, I'm gonna go and hand Nora the cat. Ram. As Amanda. As Amanda. Yes, as Amanda. And well, well, you just see Nora come out the door and uh, uh, hello, Amanda. And is that painting cat? I found a cute cat. I thought you would want it. I'm gonna go and throw the cat at her. Not really. You just throw, throw it. it. <laughs> not throw it. No, not really. I'm gonna go and get, hand it to her, and then I'm gonna run away. <laughs> And I'd be uh, concerned if bye, you Amanda. Bye. <laughs> Amazing. Wow. Oh god. Well. Uh, well. <laughs> I guess we know who was listening. Oh, <laughs> they never knew it was me. Our <laughs> <laughs> just thinks that Amanda just for some reason <laughs> is just wrong. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna go to the storeroom, actually. You know what? Why not? Well, while well, you're... Are you gonna do anything there? I'm just waiting for Sid to get back. Nah, uh, I'm just gonna go there and change back into Sinatus. Yeah, well, you change back into Sinatus eventually. Meanwhile, back. Uh, Dion, you just witnessed something happen, which is one Murdoch leaving. The other thing is... Lila asked Midnight if he wanted to come with her to Silverquill. Hmm. I don't trust that. That's strange. Indeed. But Jan just asks the other two. You got plans for the rest of the day? Hmm. Just studying up for the next exams early. Uh. Your homework? Write that. <laughs> and I tell if you're her friend or her teacher. Mm, I try to be the best. Uh huh. Well, I need to go work on that assignment for some extra credit, so I'll go fetch Arle after she's done. Mm, we're just about done here ourselves. Amanda, you can take that back to the sink now. We'll push and we're looking it off. Alright then. You end midnight chatting or do you just end this? Up, up. Unless midnight wants to say anything, they head back to the town. Just want to react to each other about what happened. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> just. <laughs> no words. Well, event eventually, as Eon. Heads back, Midnight also heads in the same direction, Mur Murdoch already goes, you and before you meet up with Arle, oh, oh, just about ready. You too as well? Well, you just walk past them. Yeah, let's go. And just like the little screen, give me about five minutes. Pause if you want, talk to each other, whatever. 
I wonder how often I'm going to use Alter Self. <laughs> I can see it happen a lot. Knowing you, it'll probably happen every other session. Become a teacher and give out fake answers. I'm pretty sure that can end you up in detention at some point. Oh yeah, definitely. That's if they catch me though. What's the chances all the teachers have to sign? <laughs> In a magic school? Hey. I like to hurt. They're teachers, what do you expect? They're teachers in a ma- in the most pre- prestigious magic school. I mean, we found out they don't have- they, Well, how many- hmm. I don't know. <laughs> What's up? Is this, are we paused or does chat, uh, the VOD just hear everything we're talking about? Well, it's, it's still going. You're gonna be. Hmm. Okay, and as we're back, as everyone splits off doing their own thing, and as Maxwell's is loading a, the huge lore hold map for me because there's so many assets here, over the weekend, everybody gets up to their own activities. Two of you split off and head for the lower floors of the biblioplex to do a research, and the rest of you head off onto your, well, respective campuses. First of all, first off, we tackle one such campus, and that being Lorehold. Oh. Making the trek all the way through campus, getting, well, a wagon organized, Fred queuing the song I want, not doing it. Well, eventually, <laughs> Zenatus reaches past the desert, past that valley you all fought in. And eventually, oh, not that Fred. I'm just, I'm gonna just do it like this. We going far. Fred, <laughs> Fred is thinking. Thinking Fred. about what? Choose the fucking music. Fred, please. The robot. Wait, why, where does it say that? What the hell? It's the music input. It's, it's still not doing it. Come on. Oh, oh dude, wait, it's, oh, wait, it's already been queued. Uh, all right then. Okay. What are you fucking there thinking about? <laughs> what is Fred thinking of? <laughs> Alright, oh, then. People. <laughs> Fred, yeah, he be thonking. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck him, he's stupid. Alright, time to earn ourselves a spirit more, boy, now. Make, make Fred leave and join again, maybe? No, it's still <laughs> working. It's just... It's still cute, the theme. Why? Okay. Why the fuck Discord? Okay. I think this one. Well, so name is just once again back in the ruin of well the Dragon Slayers. Gonna... Specifically, well, heading up to the pedestal, and you feel your great sword once again trembling, shaking, wanting to be put back in its place. Yeah, I'll put it there. As you put it there, it snaps on almost magnetically as the lines glow blue and lightning shines forth. The image of the Dragonborn Warrior once wielded it shining behind as the sword shines up and yes, I'm still using this token. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> <laughs> it works. It works. It works. Not. Yeah. He's not. Woo. <laughs> Just, just to get a bit of, there we go. Oh. You have returned. I'm not gonna put on the 
Sure, I'll, but never mind. You have returned. Mm, yeah. One hell of a trek to get here, bud. I hope it'll be worth it. Knowledge or power. Upgrade mm. path time. Oh, yeah. So, knowledge or power, I'm, I can guess which one increases which, if it increases anything. Uh, okay. Knowledge is fun. The power is also fun. Yeah, upgrades. Hmm. Think carefully. Yeah, I'm thinking. The brain, the brain be... My brain's buffering. Uh, I mean, you can't, you can't go wrong with some good old fashioned power, but knowledge is good too. Ah, uh, fuck. Hmm. You know what? Why not? Let's go knowledge. Then it shall be done. Present yourself. And prove your worth. Shh. Oh, and it's not. This will be a combat combat, but it is a skill challenge. And uh oh, Natus. Let's prove ourselves as... Woo! Let's go! Let's fuck up some shit. You. And I'll do this. God damn it, right. Fred! Let's do this. <laughs> Alright then. You're choosing the path of knowledge. PTSD. <laughs> Wanting to upgrade your bond with Arkin Brand instead of power, you choose knowledge. First of all... Let's... Okay, you're choosing knowledge path. Let's do this. Roll an arcana check. Figure things out magically. Okay. What oh yeah, I have... As you pull out Divide and Conquer to clash blades with Arkham Brand, spirit holding it in hand. I do have arcana vision. I forgot about that. Yeah. And you do have... You, do hey. have, you also have an extra d4 you can add from your club. Oh yeah. If you really 24. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, why not? Let's do that. Just in case. I don't... Hey, right. 24. 24. Arcing Brand lights up as the spirit... As the spirit who once wielded it, wields it once more. Floats, floats around. Assessing the situation, you can realize this is essentially a magical trial. Getting a grasp of the situation, you pull out your sword. Swap it to its whip formation. And create some distance, parrying each blow coming towards you. Hmm. Not bad. Let's see how long you can hold out. Oh. Alright then. As you are trying to withstand blow after blow, proving yourselves in physical strength, roll me athletics. Okay, that's a, that's, 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 that's a good one. That's Oof. an 8. I have beloved. <laughs> yeah. Double, double thinking using the DM inspiration. Oh, uh, bang. A 13, that's better. Do I have anything that can increase that? Uh, does was, No, do was was already. Intimidation. That was intimidation. That's Arcan. Uh, yeah. I don't have anything else. I'll go with 13. Uh, I mean, I'd let Action Surge be a thing if you want. Hmm. Yeah, what would that do? It would be a reroll. If oh, you okay. roll lower, you take the lower. Oof. Oh, let's <laughs> hope so that doesn't stuff. happen. Uh, <laughs> Feeling your stance falter, you feel like you're about yeah. to be pushed back. Let's do you do come it. back oh, a second chance stronger, or do you let yourself hey. come back stronger? That's with an action surge. Yes. Well, you surge with power as you parry blades once more, driving back the spirit back to its pedestal. Mm. One last, one last time. Present your blade. And we're ending this with a good old-fashioned 
attack roll versus attack roll. <sighs> Double check. Alright, we're fighting the sword with your sword. Essentially, roll an attack roll with your weapon. And I will Divide and conquer. Okay, I'm good at these. I think. I hope. It's a clashing roll. Oh my! Oh. Oof. <laughs> blade against blade, lightning flickers from Archie Brand's body, almost paining your arm as Divide tries to wrap itself around with its whip-like configuration. You attempt to disarm, but the lightning courses through your blade into your arm. You almost drop it, but then you swap it back as the as the segmented as the segmented parts of your blade once again fuse into its longsword configuration. The tip that. The center of balance shift, shifting, causing while well, the spirit holding it to lose footwork. Dra pulling back, pulling back your long, pulling back now your long sword. You aim for a strike as it pierces straight through the, a, a spiritual, a spectral chest. Oh, and he stands there, content, smiling. So be it. And let me swap it back here. You have attained, or you have chosen, the path of knowledge, which I will tell you this. Alright. After art, after upgrading art and brand, you choose the path of knowledge. Alright. Uh, add this to the description of art and brand whenever you keep it. While holding art and brand. Your spell save DC increases by one. Ooh! Where you have chosen the path of knowledge. And your adept and your your aptitude with your own magic strengthens in the presence of this level. Uh... If you were wondering what power would have given you, it would have been boost to your lightning damage with it. Ah. Yeah. Well, while equipping Arkham Brand, so just note that that would mean hold at least at the very least holding it in one hand. So while it, when you have now upgraded Arkham Brand so that whenever you have it equipped, holding it out in your hand, at least one hand, your spell save DC is one higher. Well, that's that's tasty. I ain't got anything to say. <sighs> that was a nice workout. Hmm. Do I have the sword with me right now, or is it still oh, it's on the pedestal still? It's still on the pedestal, talking to you. Mm hmm. Just if you want to talk to it in its spirit form, as it only manifests here. Let's look around the ruins. Still the same oh. as that to you. The same as you left it, if only a little more knocked about, considering there was a giant mechanical canine. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Uh, this place has been. I bet it's seen better days. Your next path will challenge you more. Next upgrade is two downtimes. And well, ah. let's see where this is going. Yeah. This is getting interesting. Hmm. Oh, well, it was like the challenge. <laughs> Expect yeah, me no. back. Hmm. Wield it with strength. The spirit fades. The sword clang clangs on the pedestal again, fading its new wielder. Yeah, I'll pick it up. And, <laughs> and before I leave, I'm gonna tidy up the ruins a little bit. <laughs> well, you do that, and well, who wants to go next? Researchers Arlay or Midnight? Researchers including Kian and Arlay, Murdoch or Midnight? Up to you all. 
Yeah, just roll again. Sure. Please. I guess we're one. Go. Uh, that is two of this. All right then. As it as Natus is over there training his metal against well metal. Meanwhile, Murdoch. Let me swap the music out for campus theme. Through various links, especially those between fellow students of your year that you are close with, Nina, Shivadri, and other such helping you, you walk with the desire to find a way back into the scriptorial collections, knowing that only the highest of staff or other professors are allowed passage in, or are allowed to give passage in. Leading you to a bit of a chain. Specifically, one that leads you back to your home campus. In Woke Recall. And we're back here! Thankfully... Thankfully, this time, you see that with students walking around and professors professors checking about the place, the giant monsters are all, well, not here anymore. It's actually lively now. I just don't... If I were to put the tokens everywhere, this entire place would be filled as... It seems a lot, a lot of students are also hanging out here in their off time. The place is rather big and all. But... You know, your destination to be, well, the central tree, or the central trunk. Walking down, well, get a bit of memories from this place. Ah, uh, that's where we got that. Oh, that's where the Darth Elemental was. Ah, oh, that's where that uh, mushroom giant was. Well, they're not here anymore, at least, you think. But that's right at you, anyways. In Freddy by your side, you make your way back to the central trunk where scheduling an appointment. Well, you see the big door heading in. Yep, I'm gonna knock and head in. You hear a female voice, and then come in as entering down. Ah. Just who we were looking for. I bow. Hmm. Pleasure to make acquaintances once more, my Doc McGill. As you already know, I am Lizette, Tina the Root. And this here is my counterpart, Valentine, Tina the Vane. <laughs> they always have to use that language when referring to me. I refer to you as I refer to you. Uh, anyways, we have heard your requests, and <laughs> we may have something of a equivalent exchange as well. Oh? Uh, what dear Valentine here is saying is rather on my part. As you may have known, across the Lowhold campus recently, there has been the spread of some unidentifiable element, so we say. As I am the, the root, local campus has specifically contacted me. But now I am, pardon my words, swamped with my own, with my own responsibilities to deal with. And so, I wish someone of your, of your equivalent status to head there in my stead. I see. Mm. Well, 
And I'm here because I want to see the wizard in person. Hey, may I present that bag of bones you carry around with you? Uh, what did you say you could offer me? Hmm. Ah, passage. Now, may I examine that skeleton? Oh, uh, yeah, of course. Mm, you present Finn and... Mm. Uh, here he goes again. Uh, mm. Splendid work. For a novice student, you sure are proficient with the necromantic arts. See, there is life with this one. So... Just... Finn just looks straight. Mm. Mm. Feels like he's still oh, lacking I, some sort I of personality. But adequate. Better than expected even for someone of your grade. Ah, I'm satisfied. You can go on, Lizette. Ah, Alright then. My request is simple. If you wish to seek passage into the archives, I only wish to recover something of, well, aid in helping against this ailment spreading in the lower hold. Those... Hmm. Those produced specifically. I am looking for the current Oracle's work before she was who she is now. Written by Jadzi should be some her research in her time in Quadrix. Being a human such as I, she is also dabbled with the question of extending the lifespans of those similar to us who are only given short ones. While she doesn't do or she doesn't dabble in that kind of topic anymore, I would prefer it if I take a look at her old work. Anything related to the topic of curing ailments and keeping oneself healthy, I would like to be brought back. Understood. Hmm. You got anything else to say, Valentine? Oh, yes. Even if we only met one more time before this, this one before us now is familiar. Do not. What? <laughs> I was going to ask for consent. <sighs> Story I'm... goes, a little birdie tells us. You are someone missing their memory. That's correct, yes. Well, this little bird, being your Professor Lang, told me of such, and I extended, extended a gracious hand. I see that you are performing adequate. Sure. Pointing specifically to Finn. And I may be able to satisfy my own curiosity of how it is someone like you walks around this campus freely. We don't get many of your kind. So it is always fascinating to see ones who walk. I wish to see if you bleed. How exactly do you want to see that? Well, <laughs> it's simple. He opens his mouth and you see his fangs. Remembering that, yep, your dean is a vampire. <sighs> Was that just size? These two do not get along. <laughs> well, if it's for the sake of research, then go for it. Well, then, you need say no more. I'll. Lizette. Lizette prepares a healing spell immediately. Do you let yourself get bitten? Yes. Don't worry, I have enough of grass my, of my power to not spread it to you, and, 
and it... Oh, it stings for a moment until Lizette's healing power offsets it. You feel... Well... Shush. <laughs> Damn. You, you feel it for a second, and then he pulls out. He's rubbing his finger on the two, seeing dilute, the diluted blood that you spill. Ah, interesting. As I thought, in your previous life, you would have been one of the more elemental, elemental kin. Diluted now, but traces still linger. Yeah. I thought that's why you seem familiar. You share the same blood as. He just chuckles. Out with it, Valentine. We do not want to keep the students' time any longer than we already have. Uh, all right, all right, then. I'll say it. If he looks to Finn, if you give me either this one. Or something equivalent. I'll tell you. Fine. I'll bring you something else. <laughs> oh, now this is intriguing. All right. Apologies for my companion here. He is... Different with his methods. Oh, and you're equally as different, Lizette. <laughs> uh, well then, I thought should be business here handled. We appreciate you for your time. To the McGill. You may leave now. Thank you. Um, I bow again and go. Alrighty then, well... So you know? Oh, I know. Alright then. Have to go grave robbing. Mm. <laughs> Alright. That being said, you have... Passage. You now have granted passage to... The Scriptoria Collections Collectives Archives. Didn't Let's really have fucking you, go. Didn't really have your own skill challenge there because it would be, well, and the next one, as you can probably assume, it will be another town time to go there on your own or if you want to bring others with you. And Valentine has his own little personal thing here. If you should you want to pursue that too. Mm -hmm. But for now, uh, Anything you want to walk around in Wiltroot Hall first, or do you want to just get out of here? Um, I will go to the place where we, uh, ran away from. Wait, uh, to the south. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> just eyeing it. Eyeing it. You see the- you see the place where the ooze popped up. Where was it again? I think it was here and here. Yeah. You see the broken down shed, which is still broken. Let me actually double check. Yeah, I think if I actually did check, <laughs> I think there actually was nothing but just the monsters there. Amazing. Uh... I'll throw a stone in <laughs> and then, then I'll go. Uh, beautiful. Well, with that being said, as Murdoch returns back to campus, who wants to go next? <coughs> Midnight or researchers? Roll.
Uh, you know what the funny thing is about Valentine? This is not within the game. This is just me noticing it in the Strixhaven server. Pe mm -hmm. People, people, people thought his art looked so goofy that they they just they were they want to replace it. <laughs> they made him hot. Wow. I kept them the same because I like I like his character. But <laughs> that's just that's just something that the Strixhaven server did. They want they replaced Valentine with like your <laughs> with well, your basic vampire. He is yeah, a little bit of lore about Valentine is uh I think I said this before, but yep, yeah, need Valentine and Dean was it? Valentine, yeah. I mean, other Strixhaven servers, other Strixhaven games used him as a plot device to start a vampire cult. So I don't know what's going on with their Strixhaven, but that's oh, something wow. they're doing. But yeah. I'm... Yeah, people had a vampire cult as their first year arc. Hey, okay. different DMs do something different. AG... I assume that's midnight then. All right then, we're going. We're going campus trotting then. Meanwhile, in Silver Quill, is Fred Bot still thinking? Oh, he just he just refused to send the messages now. Okay. Meanwhile, let me just grab it. If Discord would load, there we go. Meanwhile, I'm back in Silver Cold Campus. Midnight, you are walking with Lila. A strange pairing, to be sure. I mean, you've gotten to talk with their friend group, her friend group, but, well, the most you've really had one-on-one -on -one with is, well, of course, Olivia. The walk is... Well... Alright. She doesn't really speak to anything until, well... You both eventually step onto campus. Oh, and then she turns to you. I should probably tell you where I'm going, yeah, shouldn't I? Uh, apologies. Hey, whoops. Hey. Hmm? Uh, it's n nothing much, just... Wanted to pay a visit to the Rose Stage. Uh, you? This is a. Yeah. Oh no. Why are you going there? Uh, I actually wanted to meet with. Well, uh, your sister should be there. It's something we're doing. After the. We're just. Vo volun voluntary contributor is uh af I shouldn't well I suppose nothing's really telling me not to say it but after the next set of exams they're holding uh a voluntary dance practice in the stage and well I thought I at least wanted to get, get some well get some of my own out there not as one of the participants just helping out a bit of that silver cool spirit, you know? It's... Something, really. How about you? Still walking. I'm just on my way here to do my job since I really broke right now. <laughs> uh, sorry to hear that. I mean, it's admirable here in that spirit, though. For reference, you're walking north. I just think all went out, or there's no bridge map. Thanks. Good luck, whatever you guys are doing. Oh, uh, should be arriving very soon.
And well, you see the rose stage in all its grand glory. And Wong, you say your thing first. My sister, I said hi. <laughs> Will do. By the way, she stops just before hopping up the steps. Can I ask you a question? What is it? Mr. Midnight? Do you think you're perfect? I used to think I was. Hmm. I see. Why'd you ask? It's... Olivia. Just a bit... Well, concerned for her. And I see that, surprisingly, she's been getting along with you recently. I think she... wants to think of herself like that, or at least strives for it. I can tell it wears on her sometimes. Just say it. Honestly, I'm a little surprised. Jealous, even. To find her opening it up. You. You. Uh, no offense to you personally, but. It's <laughs> just not something I expected. She. Well. Doesn't that do that a lot with us. Or, not often. Well, I think you girls should sit down in a room and have a heartfelt conversation. <laughs> yeah, I think we should. She probably hate it, but yeah. You see, it's one of my goals, you know, when I entered this university. I wanted to turn into a person who can make everyone happy. It's a selfish goal and a pretty unreasonable one if you really think about it. I've seen many things saying that it could happen and honestly that's enough for me to try no it's probably need to ask someone like you to go out here for me to just tell you that but not so much it's honestly admirable Thank you. Is this 
strange all of this is. I probably don't make sense, but sometimes I wonder if how I feel about that, what I just said. If it was if it was really my own desire or you know what, forget it. It's just it's just weird. No, no, no. Just see her look surprised. Oh, uh, thank you. Oh, it's almost as if you read my mind. Yeah, it just well, Olivia is just one of those things where I figured out that. I might not exactly be the best person for her all the time, so... If she ever feels like opening up to you again... Just... Look out for her for me as well, okay? That's all I really wanted to ask. You got it. Thank you, uh... Thank you, sir. Midnight, sir. I want you to do me a favor as well. Don't push yourself too hard. Oh. <laughs> That's all. Alright then, well... Good luck with your job! Oh, I think... Oh. Hey, Celine! Oh. Uh, there you are! Well... Ciao! Goodbye. I'm gonna go to my job for money, yes. Alright then. And midnight... ...goes to work. Essentially, with that done... <coughs> ...you make your way back to the sending spires and... ...essentially... ...how much is your job refresh? Six. Okay, you roll me, well, what would it be? It would be the Sending Spires. Roll me a skill check that you think is reasonable to roll for your job. Let's see if we get a bonus. Choose a skill check if it fits. There are multiple aspects to your job. Which do you want to choose? I'll just use performance. Makes sense. Go for it. Alright. And with that done, Midnight, in your off time, 
In your off time midnight, you earn yourself 10 gold. And with that being said, we move on to the final pair. Lily imparts to you some of her worries. Let me give her a bit of closure. Almost. Please forget that girl is destined for something she doesn't know about. To the biblioplex. Where? A pair does their homework. And you two here? Uh. <coughs> All right then. As. Everyone else doing their thing. Over in the biblioplex, in, the, in one of many places in the lower floors. Yes, this is the map for the upper floor, but I'm just gonna use it because it's prettier. Arle and Gion take their time perusing for their homework. Do you remember what the topic was? You took it. Uh, I haven't Huh, I just noticed. This book is shaped weird. What's wrong with that? I, I could just say it. <laughs> ah, was it some... Was it I guess? No. <laughs> it's wow. topic is Strixhaven fashion throughout the ages. <laughs> you wrote the you wrote the placeholder, not not the actual note yet. You were tasked with researching about Strixhaven fashion throughout the ages and create a report or not a report, a design concept. Present Dean Tullis specifically about Strixhaven's history. Or one or specifically about how it can relate to Strixhaven's history. Feel free to talk now to each other. Mm. Well, we have what we need to look for. We just have to search. Look at the probable millions of books in this <laughs> library. You're in the first floor, but even that is pretty vast in itself. Let me actually just, while you're doing that, let me double check what the skill requirements were again for this research. <laughs> Any ideas where we can start? Well, for one, they probably have a whole section on fashion history in Strixhaven. They love that kind of thing. But, uh, hmm. I guess we can start by searching at least. Yep. And you do realize since you're both also here, doing that, may, depending on how well you do, may be enough on its own but you could also use this time to peruse through some archives you personally want to also peruse through 
depending on what it is you want. Should you do well enough? I. If there are any books on archaics. Are they anything specific, or do you just want to help out Gion with that? When the other, when the other group was here, they found the missing records. Do you want to try and search for? Could just leave it blank and say if you find something, you find something. Alright then. You wanna help Gion specifically. Alright then. So first, your basic requirements so far. Trying to meet Dean Tullus' demand for historical authenticity. Both of you, as you search for fashion through the centuries, we're spending about a good portion of the day inside this library. Both of you roll history checks, the best ones you can muster. Oh boy. And the higher you get, the, more, the closer you are to finding your other objective, should you have one. Rerolling that. <laughs> oh my god. It. <laughs> wow. Alright, boy, I see what you're doing here. Fuck this, I'm going to use my other inspiration too. <laughs> Okay, that's me. Thank you, bot. Uh, you know what? Jan about to be the backseat gamer. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> make that a 15, please. That's okay. a plus four. <laughs> that was important, because you needed at least a 14. Oh, well... <laughs> All right. Mm, actually, <laughs> as you both scrummage about trying to find, well, books, scrolls, imagery of historical, of historical dresses in Strixhaven, for given enough time, spending the entire six hours needed, because that's how long it takes. God damn. <laughs> Six hours needed to just do your research and format your paper at the meantime. You both essentially, yeah, you get a pass on this one as you both obtain enough information to formulate your own paper, whether that's something you want to submit as a pair or on your own. Both of you have enough of it and all you need to do is present it come the next class. But to specifically Gion, not Arle because she didn't roll high enough. He managed to squeeze in some extra time to find out about archaics. You take a deep dive into <laughs> into specifically what the first floor has. Learning a bit about the archaics. Let me actually pull up their little thing here. For one, you research the basics of them. Ones that you already know. Page. Archaics. Primed as towering multi armed creatures, overflowing with magic. Despite their solitude, archaics carry a vast understanding of magic and the world's history, as well as the ability to warp the fabric of the world around them. Sages who seek out archaics for their knowledge often receive confusing and often contradictory answers to their questions. If the supplicant successfully outwise the tangle, answer they seek is revealed. That is, well, what you know them as a base, and I can just copy it over for you right here. 
that's the basics that you would already know from them. They are beings who speak in riddles. Some extra bits you find about them, because you got... What was it again? I think you got higher than 20. Yep. Archaics are also known to have existed since the dawn of time itself, or at least the dawn of the merging of the planes, causing Arcavios to exist. At the same time as the Star Arches and, well, first primordial life, Archaics already were walking the vast lands. Specifically, trying to find something that stands out relating to what you know. You focus on one specific part of them. They have knowledge, but often speak it in contradiction. Is there a purpose to what, why they do this? You could make the argument that they are holders of vast knowledge. Some knowledge is just never meant to be known. But why in Riddle specifically are ones meant to confuse, to entangle? That's what intrigues you. There has to be a reason for this. Making the connection that you already do to the Star Arches, the Oracle, and the plane itself. You can think of them sort of as the world's hands. Quite literally in their case with eight of them. But rather, they were born since the dawn of the world. Why? What purpose does that serve? And where did they come from? That's what lingers with you. Mm -hmm. Why do they exist? Damn book gave me more questions than it did answers. Well? <laughs> well, this author must really like the archaics because they speak in riddles themselves. Nope. More questions than anything. Well, you figure that if people spent their entire lives trying to unravel the mysteries of this creature, these creatures, you weren't really expecting to get anywhere too far with just six hours. Hey, it's the start. And another question does strike you. Or rather, odd question. Why did it show you all specifically that vision, the one you met? You hazard a guess that it was summoned there, but it looked at you all, judged at you, and you very clearly remember it excluding Polaris from being shown anything. And you remember that sense of familiarity you all felt. You've never met an archaic, but something about that one feels like it knew you. Not just it's aware of everything in an it's aware of everything way. But you uh, both can't shake a feeling that that one specifically was familiar to you all. I kind of want to look into records of people who've either interacted with archaics or know more about them than we do. You. 
<laughs> you sweat knowing two people matching that. <laughs> right. Yeah, those two would know a lot more, wouldn't they? <laughs> Probably. Oh. But, we'll see. We'll get to it when we get to it. Exactly. Well, you both have essentially what you already came for. Anything else you want to do here just before heading out, or that be all? I'm gonna take a small skip for the shelves. Looking for anything in particular? before how uh, records yeah i guess yeah. records of ancient oh, history yeah. you pull out a basic history of the world textbook blow some dust off it and i mean you could ask to borrow it sure why not all right you'll handle that with the counter then <laughs> uh, yes like a normal student <laughs> Oh, he's got our own thing. Some, some Let's go. Let's go. You can borrow you, you, you can borrow what you read too, Gion, if you want. Uh sure, and Gan will try to find if there are any memoirs of people who have experience meeting an uh, archaic. Okay. As you are both here. Roll me one last investigation check then. See if you can grab an extra one on the way out. You don't have okay. you don't have time to skim through it, but rather you're just looking for one that has a catchy enough title and trying to pick it up. Nope. Everything is way too vague. <laughs> Bart says no. Well, Feel like you're running out of time or at the very least very hungry you know what just because it's funny Gyan grabs a cookbook on the way out <laughs> all right <laughs> just grab the first one you see mm. yep guinea pigs world's records 2020 what? wait what's it 2020 <laughs> never mind i actually forgot what year i said whatever the year is and we do that and as they do that, give me one second as I stand up and get back. Feel free to collect your thoughts, collect your sheets, input anything you might want to input as everyone essentially gets their day finish, long rest, and repair for the coming week. There be. Well, that was some. Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna go and talk to Mama and Papa. <laughs> That's good. That's gonna be interesting. <laughs> it's like. His mom like picks up the phone. Honey, how are you doing? And he's like, Mom, what do you know about the archaics? <laughs> <laughs> Cut to the chase. No. <laughs> Cut to the we chase. Tell me what I want to know. <laughs> I need answer. Hmm. 
Jan talking to his mom be like fake image sending is his mom bald too <laughs> I don't bro look at that well, that's a good question Maybe. oh I mean from base I think what was it was it Eberron they were from whatever they were from Lord Vidalk and female are also bald but we have Tifa who is kind of just has an a 16 head <laughs> just has what? a big ass forehead <laughs> she has, has she has a four squared head. head oh okay <laughs> let me let me grab a refill of my water bottle while while I'm here let me also grab that hydrate Hydration check. Hydration. Mm. Hydration. Oh, I've just, I've, I've just been looping at your family <laughs> during the session. <laughs> oh yeah, that reminds me. I have to continue playing Brotherhood again. Snow chilling. Speaking of snow playing when's the next stream i don't know what's that i'm way too busy now <laughs> i want to stream more but like ah time Maybe also you have a new study stream. yeah do you have a new obsession to deal with <laughs> it's not an obsession it's my training art for college <laughs> Can you even stream in your also, own setup? Probably not. I don't know. I don't think single screen streaming is a really good idea. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I could, yeah, I actually. I could just start a new Saber Brotherhood and stream that when I get the time. <laughs> start from the very beginning. Endurance stream. <laughs> Eight hour stream. Have yes. Uh, uh, I I actually did spend the whole day yesterday learning code. Oh, good. Nobody has pinged me about my responsibilities. The messenger just had to check. <laughs> or really, I don't really have any. Just, I mean, you never know. Meanwhile, my my classmates spam me. me. No, when's the drawing done so we can copy it? Uh, are we paused? <laughs> uh, I just unpaused. Okay. Welcome uh, back. Everyone oh, back now. Oh, hi, I'm not allowed to. I was just gonna ramble for a bit if we were unpaused. Or if we were paused. Oh, yeah. man. Wow. Everyone, everyone ready as Map Tools refuses mm -hmm. to switch maps for me? There we go. God damn it, Map Tools. Stop being a bitch. All right. Everybody long rested, got their refreshes, had time to arrange their sheets if need be. As we are essentially. Oh, right. Note to Gion and Arle, friendship die from each other. Get that. Nice. Oh, nice. That just happens yeah. whenever you spend downtimes Ooh, together. Another friendship die in my tag of emptiness. <laughs> <laughs> and essentially, we move on as come the following weekend, you all organize your thoughts to midnight specifically. Olivia hasn't really been seen. Olivia is... You can see, you have seen her move around at the dorms, but keeping her distance from everyone, really. Other than that, nothing much happens come the weekend. And then the week rolls around, and then everyone is now back to the world campus. Let me get back to music. Oh, yeah, My home! Yeah, it's a new day. <laughs> Back New days. Oh, that one. Uh, well. oh, yes! <sighs> all right, then. As you're all here, you're once again in class as this time you all head in for something that hasn't really happened before. Standing before you all in the front desk are your two substitute professors, but no Dean Tullis. 
And before we can question where she is, they make their introductions first. Uh, good day, class. Uh, we, apo we apologize, but Dean Tullis will not be joining us for this discussion. But she has certain matters to attend to and inform us both beforehand. For now, we... Oh dang, I forgot about her. It's your creation. <laughs> SMH. SMH. For now, we intend to cover for her, for her duties, and inform you of what needs to be and what needs to be done. Firstly, firstly, I would like to ask if anyone else wishes to submit their reports regarding Strixhaven's fashions throughout the centuries. You already Are there did any that, students right? who are? Yeah, you already, you already did that. Is there anyone okay. else here who has done their submissions and wishes to submit it now? Are we all discussing what needs to be done today? Arlene and Gion stand up. Yep. Up. Pass our homework. Pass our homework. <laughs> ah. Wonderful. As you're here, Arlene, that's the list looks like you. Here's your approving nod. <laughs> ah, wonderful. Seems a good amount of the class is done. You all have. To those who haven't yet, although I think the vast majority you have might struggle to keep keep up as your next exams are near. But before that, I would ask everyone to once again take your seats as we make a couple announcements. Firstly, as attended, she grabs she grabs a notebook, and it seems for this case, Denzel's more just on watch duty rather than anything. As I actually get my notebook and actually make the, the announcements I listed that were important enough to... Alright then. Uh, Alright then. For this afternoon, instead of, instead of a class lecture, we are instead in collaboration with the Masquerade Committee on something that needs to be done within Kolema Hall. This will be elaborated later, but for now, know that our usual Lecture setup will not be continued for today. And well, you get you half the class cheers because no class, technically. Woo! But well, we will be discussing what we are to do in, in the meantime. But next up on the agenda, she flips the page. <laughs> Alright, your next exams are coming near. We have already discussed a couple of these lectures before. For those wondering, yes you have, I just found it too boring to actually make a full lecture on. Hmm. Be sure to study up on on arcane devices as your next set of exams will be tackling those. Specifically in arcane devices, or I mean it's pretty self-explanatory. Items. We just see a gleam in the <laughs> eyes. <laughs> My specialty. Uh. And as your next exams will be coming within the following week. After that, well, we would like to discuss with you on a special event tackling or happening in Silvercool campus. After the exams are done in the coming week, should should any students wish to brush up on their dance skills and well practice pra practice their moves, you can tell she's reading from an ad. Please visit Silvercool Campus, the Rose Stage. You will be wel we will be welcomed and lectured by. Let me actually double read. Let me actually double check if I'm getting her name right. Ah. Oh, dance instructor. Gave us luck. <laughs> dance instructor. Dance instructor Naval is welcoming you all with open arms to attend. To attend the well. The Rose Stage Dance Practice, for those who want to brush up on their skills before the masquerade. So, hell yeah. Oh, my cold's back. Oh god. I can't dance, I'm a snake! <laughs> Attendance is voluntary, but, but, the, but the instructor promises you will be able to dance the best you could when the masquerade rolls around should you attend this training. Invite friends, fellows, classmates, even those from other years. All is welcome. 
And that's that out of the way. I feel like I'm reading through critical role advertisements here. <laughs> Some water has uh, got noses clogging up again. Yes, you have other stuff. Give yourself some legs and learn how to dance. Other use. Uh, that's a waste of a spell slot, though. <laughs> or you could just learn how to dance as a naga. I guess. Yeah. For your task for today, instead, Denzel speaks up this time. Professor Medea has already informed you that we are to, that you are all to assist the Magister's Masquerade Committee as your duty. As third years. In Kolema Hall, actually read it out. Are some supplies. Alright then. Let me just read it out. The Magister's Masquerade is such a strict haven into it institution that an entire section of the Biblioplex's archives is devoted to it. Along with records and the event, these archives serve as storage for the masquerade supplies needed annually. You we speak to both, to all of you at me right now. Are among the students the masquerade committing the masquerade organizing committee tasked with retrieving some hundreds of storage boxes, conveying them to Kolema Hall. Essentially, you are given the task of transporting some supplies and putting them in Kolema Hall, just as part of your duty in helping with the Magister's masquerade. It will be done today, and by the end of the period, progress will be reported on. Other use. Oh, okay, that was all I It totally went. Okay. Yours. Let me actually double check that. What that is. <coughs> Essentially, for this period of class, you are tasked with moving supplies to and from the Biblioplex to the to Kolima Hall. Operation end. And this is actually some of the first time for you all to actually visit Kolima Hall after some preparations have been set for you've only been passing by it. Reaching the classroom. If that is all, we once again apologize for Dean Tullis' absence on her behalf. We look forward to seeing your progress. For now, class dismissed. Hmm. Well, some noise. The noise of class sh shatters on as the two professors enter through the back door and poof. Uh, feel free to talk to each other as, just, as, just, as I just let my nose recover. Man, more manual labor. Mm, you know you could use it. Those small <laughs> arms. Shush, I'm tired from silly for practice. Hmm. Maybe. If someone is free, <laughs> looks away. Stim. <laughs> Rich coming from you, Azzy. I apologize if my voice will sound different now as I am currently being affected by the weather. Maybe I'll join us. Dancing. Dancing is okay. Dancing has never been my thing. Uh, Senatus, you do realize that's what dance classes are for, right? Yeah, but yeah. Well, some people are just unable to learn, and I'm one of those people. Well, no I will be cheering you on in the background. Well, uh, guess who I'm talking to next? <laughs> Makes <laughs> mental note to approach. Wait, what was the name again? Annabelle, yes. <laughs> I mean, we could try and 
join dance class together for team effort. <laughs> <laughs> it's Friday night. <laughs> 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 okay, I know what music track I'm using now. Oh. <laughs> Amazing. Well, whatever you decide that's going to be happening after your exams, which you now know are coming up next. Yay. Ew. After this, and then your third set of exams, it's pretty much just going to be dedicated dedicated to the masquerade. So for now, well, as class is dismissing, everyone sees. Well, the rest of your the people, the rest of the people in the room start to coalesce and well head out. And while well, as they're leaving, and you're all talking, I know. I'm saving your tokens. They're all going to be reused later. Stay here. <laughs> You all, you all see th this group. You all see your own friend group over here just walk up back up to you and, hmm, well, dance practice. Say, Aurora, want to take the stage? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. Well, I think you all already know my answer. Yep, you were already bored for that, darling. We're gonna need you to help at that dance practice. <laughs> How about you all, Shibatri asks. I'm oh, still wait. thinking about it. I might do it. Yeah. I wonder how many legs I could slip under. What? <laughs> 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 Probably a good amount, knowing the number of giants we have here. I... <laughs> hmm. I mean... Uh, I go ahead. Nah, yeah, I wasn't saying anything. Yeah, Shivagra was gonna say. Well, before all of that, we need to move some of the supplies from the Biblioplex to Kobe Mahal. I haven't been there much myself. Anyone here has? I have! Pretty big place! Hmm. Uh, yes, it's three floors. They have the task are going to be distributed if it's just going to be us. Oh, I can lead. That'll be no problem. Shavadri kind of looks up and specifically makes eye contact with you three, Murdoch, Kian, and Midnight. Just kind of like, can I talk to you three for a second? Ah. Uh I nod. Oh wait, not Dion, Sinatus. The three, ah. who, the three who did the thing. God, who those were. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. it's, it's been a while. I am now bald. <laughs> I am a snake. Oh no. Bald I am a snake. And just goes over to you three. Any progress on what you all found up there in the Biblioplex? I think you all already know, considering, well, put you off. Hmm. Anything? <laughs> what was the question again? <laughs> My brain turned off. <laughs> Any progress on what you all found in the Biblioplex? Ah. Uh. Hmm. The records got. Oh yeah. We got. Yeah, we found something. Hmm. Well, I'll be lying if I said I wasn't curious. It's just that. Well, you might already know, but Kole Mahal is an extension of the university's knowledge. I'm not saying you should shirk your duties to go out and look for information while the others are working, but if you will... Oh, you didn't hear it. You didn't hear it here from me. That's what 
I don't know how, but you can feel a smile from that owl face. <laughs> Just, well, if you're still curious about things, Kalema Hall is as big of a library as some of the biblioplexus halls. You just might be able to find something there, if you find some free time to slink out. I'm curious too. Well, we'll, we'll remember that then. Mm-hmm. My wings are. Oh, well, turns back to everyone else. We should, just, we should just about get to the hall then, yeah? Oh yeah. All right, that was happening. We were planning on skipping class, weren't you? No, no. Ah, oh. oh, go. Get this done, then exams, then it's stats practice. I'm coming! Shh. Whoa! Well, better catch up to her before we lose her. And as you all get out the door... Before you all even get out the door and she just pops back in... Pfft. Oh! Oh, you're still- you're all still here. Uh, mm -hmm. too many people look like they want to see you. Okay, bye! Mm -hmm. uh, we'll see you all there. See you oh. there. Grab your tokens because you're all just gonna be reused later because it's all on the same map. Wonder what they want now. Nope. You wonder why when you still haven't been given your reward. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Completely forgot about that part. <laughs> I did. I forgot we you're were about to, you were about to you were about to be all right with free labor. Well, not no. really, not really free, but rather just a hundred gold. I mean, hell yeah. <laughs> Fuck Why no. not? Free yeah, workout, just... bitch. <laughs> Look, the level up wasn't part of the deal. I wonder what Murdoch would do if you just didn't get paid. <laughs> ah. Ah. There you all are. Ah. Well, seems your entire class is already humming forward. Looks like we at least didn't have to wait. She speaks in her French accent. Oh, Disgusting. <laughs> She's named Yvonne. <laughs> but yes. The Frenchiest friend in Strixhaven. Oh. We would have given to you it earlier, but Polaris here. I have reported the essential details to Samuel. But I assume you still brought the feather. Gion has it, if I recall. Yeah, Gion. Yep. You pick the Gion yeah, brings out the feather oh. and hands it to Polaris. Ah, well, that'll make things easier. Come. Um, we'll have Kayla take a look at it. You wanna go? Yeah. Yep. No reason not to. <sighs> and we'll pull up too far. Oh. Uh, ah, perfect, you're all here. And once, and for once, you actually all see, well, all five of them here together. Oh, we brought, we brought them. Kayla, do your thing. Uh, Alright. Uh, first, before all that, I would just like to thank you all. It's just, Polaris here has told me nearly everything, how that Thunderbird even flew down, shot, shot an arcing bolt of lightning and split the shed in half. I was... Honestly, worried for you all there. Polar yeah. just gives you a stare and a squint. <laughs> uh, it was kind of easy to deal with. Well, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. How marvelous! Maybe we should ask for help again sometime. <laughs> well, I'm down. <laughs> the right payments. Sure. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Of course. We'll do it. Yeah, we'll do it for free. Well. Oh. <laughs> what? What? I don't think we can give you that in good conscience, however. <laughs> you can do it for free if you want to. <laughs> I want that gold. Don't mind. He's delirious. 
No. Oh man. Kayla. Alright then. He flops down the seat and well specifically pulls down apparatus. This may take just a few minutes. Nothing to make you late for what you need need to be doing, but well if you want to watch the process, it's quite an interesting one. Kayla here is a bit adept in the alchemical arts. Just a bit though. Anyone taking seats? Yeah, why not? Yep. Yep. Up wherever you're going. Bob. Bob. Uh. But bitch. Well, as you're all there. Your familiars in the back in the back seat. You don't get the seats. Aww. Damn. So sad. Sad. Y'all. Y'all see Kayla drop the feather the feather into a vial. You see it as Murdoch. You recognize it to be a simple enough apparatus, though probably one more advanced and reserved for the committee room here, as the feather spins around the liquid being in in Enwrapped by magical flame, bubbles up as the clear liquid suddenly turns blue as arcs of lightning course throughout, course throughout its body. <laughs> ah, cold. And then, and then a, a, a little puff of smoke and a blast of electricity that shoots through the top of, <coughs> shoots through the top of the ceiling. Um, mm. Ah, that should be done. Here, take this as. Another part of compensation. We heard you all tend to get uh, into unfavorable situations sometimes, and perhaps you will need aid of it. If not, well, feel free to sell it for the for the gold value it has. As you are rewarded, Yala tells you all with this. Well, that's uh, mm. I'll take it. The grace of the Thunderbird is something admirable. Oh my god, Ozzy. Just piss. <laughs> and instead instead of yellow liquid, it's blue with lightning coursing through it. But yeah, you get the oh. idea. The speed of the Thunderbird is something to be admired, even just the one feather of it can grant one with the, with the speed of lightning itself. Mm. It's haste without kinda, concentration. Kinda missed being fast. I'll take it. Yoinks! Uh, Gion took it. I take it from Gion. <laughs> <laughs> It's apple juice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's Gatorade. It is blue. Yeah. <laughs> Yellow. Blue Gatorade. Oh, yeah. I think it's better if Gian has it because he's more responsible. <laughs> oh boy. I mean, that's debatable, but that's the pickle. We do have Marlin to just carry it around and give it to us. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest. Gion doesn't last long in uh, bad situations, so there's a chance he'll get broken on him. The maybe potion that, won't last long. Maybe that's long enough of a reason to you. give it to him. Because Zanate. you're going to drink it at every opportunity. Zanatus, do we need an intervention? <laughs> no, I just like being fast. There's no need. No, I can stop I mean, whenever I want. No. I mean, <laughs> it's speed. <laughs> I can stop whenever I want. Yeah. I mean... Oh, Code Red is going through withdrawal. What makes you think I'll do that? <clears throat> Especially if there's only one, why would I use it immediately? I'm just waiting for someone to say, you have an addiction, you need help. <laughs> <laughs> no drugs for you till Celeste gets back. 
He starts scratching his neck. What do you mean, drugs? <laughs> You're saying that in front of all of these people. <laughs> Mmm. <laughs> no, like the feral snake. Well, I mean, if you insist on keeping it, that's fine. There is I also get... one other thing. If you all would hand me your scars for a second. Oh. Yeah, why not? And no way. With. With Ariana levitating them and ca casting a bit of magic, you all see the ba the polished badge on it go from go from a brownish orange copper to a shining silver. Ooh! And instead of it, instead of a D four added once per day, it can now be a D six. Oh, fancy! Nice. You all have. Well, whether or not copy the description, just repeating what its purpose is, it is technically a non-magical item once per day whenever you make a charisma check regarding something about acting as something or doing something relating to the committee, you can spend that extra bonus to that check. Instead of a d4, it can now be up to a d6. Nice. That's nice. If your if, if your charisma is still roll, I mean, if your charisma is still low, well, that's your problem. <laughs> <laughs> there and hands it back to all of you. Uh, that's really all we need to do for now. Surprisingly, we'd have no real, no real problems that need to be attended to. We've already consulted with uh, your professors about. How to organize the rest. Well, we will be helping out in those. I think Kayla over here is assigned to help you with the, help with you all as well. Yes, that would be me. I will be watching over as well. Well, there we have it. We'll ask for you whenever we need it next time. And for now, just enjoy your, enjoy your time. That's it. Thank you once more for everything you've all done. And we'll make sure that the mass, the mass, the magister's masquerade is held well in your honor. Mm -hmm. Anyone else saying anything or? Mm -hmm. Jan just nods and says, "Glad we can be a help." All right then. Well, if that is everything, <laughs> do we just want to head to Kolema Hall, accompanied by Kayla and Yvonne? Yeah. Yeah. As you all head out, feel free to chat as I move the map. Need to organize some stuff. Be right back. Feel free to talk along the way or whatever. As Kalima Hall is decently big, then I need to prepare it. Hop, hop, hop. Hmm. Well, now that uh, we have this portion, I have something I want to work on. <laughs> Jan says with a, a little concerning smirk. Um. Uh, what? What exactly do you mean? Oh, uh, nothing special. Just something that might really help us after everything that happened with the Thunderbird. Oh, well, whatever see. it is. Whatever it is, make sure it fucking works. No one ex fucking exploding the dorms. Excuse me, everything I make works. Not Marlot. Fucking <laughs> affected psychic damage. Ouch. That doesn't seem wow. right. Wow, okay. 
no more healing bot for senators i guess <laughs> <laughs> No more money for him, no more healing word. Yeah, just let me die. Yo, you can live without me. <laughs> no, they cannot. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> they actually cannot. Yeah, you know, Dion becomes the next tank and then what? We all die. You're already dead, so... Hmm... I mean, you're not wrong. But you're not right either. I am. The fuck is that? Word just again? joins the Urik and somehow fucks up the Urik. <laughs> <laughs> he just I so badly that the organization just combusts. They fucking scout me, thinking, "Yeah, this guy will make a good addition." I accidentally <laughs> destroy everything. <laughs> Alternate universe. They- they regret ever fucking looking at me. So sad. Okay, we are just about ready then. Here we go. As you all, as you all walk and discuss, eventually reach back to up the central hall as you all move forward and see. Kolema Hall in all of its newly decorated glory. Like, when we got this new theme. Tinnitus over here reminiscing. I love this theme. Whoa. As, well, it doesn't show on the map, but the, ma- the, co- the hall itself has now been fancied over. The central stone statue you can all see that was once decrepit and cracked. It's now all refurbished, smoothened out, with stone gathered from, well, from the valley you all went to. Hanging, hanging by the sides, shru- hanging by the sides and floating, de- floating and deactivated are several unlit, unlit lantern, unlit by, unlit fractal lanterns, their bioluminescence not shining at the moment. Tables have been set, organized, how. Ta- Towels have been towels have been placed on each table carefully, or rather desk cloths. The bookshelves on the wall have been sorted and color coded. <coughs> place has been refurbished, and for reference, there is also uh, where is it? Range the second floor, which also has the same treatment. Third floor is all the way. Up. Whoa. But for now, everyone is on the bottom floor. Oh. Got some work ahead of us. That we do. Currently daytime. And uh, but you can honestly can't wait to see what this place looks like at night. Hmm. Well, we'll be held. Well, we'll we'll be holding our own somewhere somewhere in the third and second floors. You all do what you can. Feel free to walk around and chat or get to work. I'm gonna look up at the statue. It is pretty tall. (coughs) Hmm. Now I'll do it. <laughs> so tempted to just look like For the reference, Let me actually read you the Kolema Hall quirks. Okay, <laughs> just for reference, uh, since it's measured in feet, the ceiling or the central hall rises up to two hundred feet. Oh, dome the ceiling. Fuck. How much is that in meters? That's a tall ass building. That's T one big old bitch. Yeah, that's yeah. Wow. So that's the scale you're looking with. It is big. So it ru- Damn, it's like sixty meters. God. Damn. The second, the second floor is twenty feet above where you all are. Better hope you don't skip leg day. 
I don't have legs. Well, <laughs> the thing about that, that hey, as you look around, Arlay, to the various students working, you see one student go up to the stairs and it just lift up like an as like an elevator. Oh, uh, lazy! <laughs> oh, just to uh, just be in a magical university. And hmm. and other students are just flat out teleporting on top of runes. Oh. Yeah, they pulled out all the stuff for the central hall of the campus. For reference, this place is much bigger in width than it looks. I mean, yeah, even the map that it was layered on is too small, but it's practically quadrupled this thing's size for reference on your tokens. Maps. Maps are inaccurate for the sake of yeah. not being too fucking big. <laughs> yeah, the maps really do a good job in representing the true size of something. But shit, it gives you a visual representation. Can, okay. Can in mind. Okay, and this is still the same map that's been used again. Hmm. Okay, so your duties that were tasked with you is, let me see here, transporting supplies. Essentially, you are to use six out <coughs> up to six hours transporting supplies, and within that time, everybody is expected to work. Well, expected. Shivadri has tipped you off that this place is still a library that holds its own information that one might find if they are willing to be a rebel. Hmm. Huh? Damn thieves. Essentially, people are walking to and from the biblioplex all the way to here. So there is a lot of shifts going around. But before all of that happens, these people are with you right now. Want to talk? For what you know, Yvonne and Kayla are over at the second floor. Everyone else you see here is on the first floor. The one you want to go to specifically, or do you just want to get straight to work? I'm gonna just socialize or do whatever. I'm gonna just start working. Kian goes up to Melan Tirana. Anyone else going anywhere specific? I'm just gonna go to Rosie. Uh, Rosie, where did I put it? Oh, I think he's a bit bigger. Pop, 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 pop. I'll just look around. Arlene? I'll look around. Alright then. Uh, sure. Let me just start off with. Over here, beyond your approach, Melwithorn and Talat and Talana, as they're just sorting some shelves. Hmm. Ah, so you all arrived. Got a call for duty? Yep, and now we got to do manual labor. Oh, uh, everyone expect everyone has to do it some way. Yeah, really. right. Back in my old grove, everything was handled by us, and us alone. Well, big tree over here is used to it. I mean, not saying I'm not coming from a rural village, but like, it still sucks to do it. Ah, uh, fair, fair. Hmm. Well. I'm carrying all these. I'm, I'm about ready to head to the biblioplex myself. Y'all working on anything? Yeah, I'll just look around for a bit before heading to the biblioplex myself. All right then. Oh, I go as a group. Uh, sure. Why not? Yeah. We. Could use that square of metal you carry around. Hmm. Anyways, uh, 
cold is still... Yeah. While you're all doing that... Who else is going other places? Tenatus is just... Working. Oh god, it's getting harder to talk. So they okay, still there being a workaholic. That never ended. Are that going to where Rosie is? Alright then. Mm -hmm. Go do this. Wow. This place keeps getting bigger. Oh, hey Doctor. Hey. Ooh, uh, up, up. Just walks over to stand on a table. There. Hey there, little guy. Oh, oh. Kneels down to Freddy and just gives Freddy a pat. Got some work to do, huh? Ready, yeah. ready to jog all the way to and back? I guess so. Hmm. With your help, it's been getting a bit easier. Glad to see it. Glad to see my, uh, my training has drilled itself in you all. So, uh, uh, what was it called? Your Mage Tower Champions? Or <laughs> speak. Ah, well. Lorehold is going to be even more beautiful come the night that happens. You got anyone you want to invite? Um... <laughs> You know, still, uh, thinking. Hmm. Just... Hmm. Well, alright then. Got some... stuff to work on. For all we know, we'll be here all the way up till the afternoon. Your little buddy there is, has some good carrying arms. Does... does he not? Why do you Finn? Um... Do you? Uh... More than you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's true. Damn, my boy Finn out here... Working out. It didn't actually speak, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the first thing he says is more than you. <laughs> it doesn't have vocal cords. Time to give him some. Yes, I will buy him some artificial lungs and voice wow. box. I'm giving him that gem from that fucking magic place. He can talk to us telepathically. <laughs> but um, how what? about you? <laughs> Do you have someone? Uh, eh, not really. Uh well, maybe you'll find someone. Hmm. Well, good luck to you too. Thanks. Always a player. I'm always ma once a mage tower player, always a mage tower player. <laughs> Up to it. And... <laughs> uh. Today is that you're over. Today is over here just working already. Just let me double check here. Mm hmm. Uh, you gotta get that work done. The real quick supplies. Well, as you are all walking around here, eventually you just stumble. You just stumble upon well, Greta and Rampart already doing their own heavy lifting. It seems these two have been starting to get along as of late. Ah, Bronx. Hey. Um, Greta, Rampart, I was gonna try to say your name and well. Yeah, nah, it's hard. It's fine. Everyone calls me that anyway. Well, how you two doing? Ah. Surprisingly, a lot better since that incident in the desert. Thankfully, we never had to encounter one of those again. Seems that was the only one of its kind. So we'll never figure out what lured it there. Mm. <laughs> uh, <coughs> uh, could be, you know, maybe it liked the the sand. <laughs> 
Yes, the sand in the vast desert. Yeah. I've never been good with animals. Oh. Animals. Well, glad to see you're keeping your own knowledge. Greta got the stack done just about, and she drops over here just five five boxes. Ah, uh, we gotta look those to the second floor. I think those ones go to the third. Planning to help? Yeah. Came here to work anyway. Might right, as well. well. Let's get this up. Let's get this up. Not doing that. Uh, are late in midnight walking around. As you're, as you're all just looking around. Uh, who goes up to the other floors up among you two if you want? Arlay flies up. Midnight, you wanna go up as well? Anywhere down here or look at the statue? Anything. Statue. Okay, you go look at the statue. Uh, as you, since you're, all right, since we're at the first floor. You read out the statue and see it engraved with the name Magister Kolema. Well, you don't know what you expect, considering what this place was named. Seems to be of a tall, regal figure. In probably someone who's died centuries before, considering how long this tradition has been kept. Take a look at him, and... He sports. Yeah, elven, qu elven qualities. Though what strikes you the most is that he is wearing lorehold armor, but not so typical, like he's presenting some amount of leaves on his shoulder pads, a couple amount of artistically artistically decorated cur curves and swirls along some uh, of his sleeves. Even some spike even some spiky elements from Quadrix you can notice and well the regal attire with silver clothes. While being in somewhat of Warhold seems he has embodied the whole spirit of breaking down college barriers despite being what he once was. And just got an insight as to would someone like him would have had an idea for unfounding this tradition? Ah, uh, knows. And yeah, he's, well, a statue, and you can very much see that. Yeah, he looks like to be a better repair, as the stone you all got was seemingly used to repair this one. I almost wonder if this one comes alive, too. Or if it's just a statue this time. Uh, poking around anything with it? We're just looking at it. <coughs> You're just looking at it then? Hi. Yeah. Oh, you get that. And wait, let me check. Do I actually have an image of Kimolema here? Oh, if you're looking at it. Let me check. Okay. This isn't exactly Kimolema, but it's a good, good enough piece. Essentially, if you can imagine it as more fixed. This is what you see at the center. Whoa. Giant statue. Fixed now. But yeah, big. Three. That's a huge bitch. That's just the default art that I just used for Koima. But yeah, it's. Good. As Arle flies above to the higher floors, actually switch to everyone else is in the lower floor. But Arle, you are over here. Unless everyone else is all the way down there, you go up here, Arle, and see, well, 
the statues will somehow reach it over here. By this point, you'll be at it just below the chest level of the statue. It's pretty tall, Bill. Uh, so you just walk around here, you see Yvonne and Yvonne and Kayla discussing with each other and then splitting off. Well, seeming to have their own things they need to do. Anyone specific or approach or just walk? That's also the third floor you can go to if you really wish. Uh, right now it's just Yvonne and Kayla, but you can see a couple other students just walking up and down. There's also the third floor all the way up at the top. <laughs> Which one? <coughs> okay, Kayla. All right then. Uh, ah, uh, uh, hi there. Oh, it's just it's so quiet. Uh, anyway, so uh, hi. Need anything? Ah, uh, yeah, this place is rather pretty. <laughs> Yvonne. <laughs> <laughs> Moving some supplies, some, uh, more specifically, we're gathering some, gathering some, some of the banners that we are to set, some, some of them are been magically enchanted to be sealed shut, so, I'm supposed to be the one to get them, but, uh, uh, roll me an insight check, probably. Yeah. Well, you'd, you could feel like, yeah, she, yeah, yeah, she was going to do that, but she, you also, before you came down here, felt, it was almost like, you know, when someone's about to head towards a direction, then notice you, then look like they're heading another direction. <laughs> uh, I, I'm just gonna about to get that done. I, wait, where was it again? All right, over there. Just, you can feel like she's not really the most talkative person in the world. Uh, need any help with anything? For your efforts with the uh, Thunderbird too, by the way. I let you know that the students are safer. Oh, we're happy to have yeah. See you all. And you go anywhere else? You go to the third floor, and I. There is since it's a dome, the third floor is a lot narrower than the second and the second and the ground floor. But as you go, there's really only two main directions to head into. One of which you can see over to. One of which you can see is heading to some place that you've seen Kayla and Polaris going before. What looks like it's marked as the infirmary. Cool. Uh, one specific lore hold. Check 
check inside, and as you check inside, wait, let me actually double check. Are they put there? I don't think I actually put the token there. Up, up, up. Okay. There you are. I actually need to move you. <coughs> because, yep, you are. As you check inside infirmary, let me actually review something. Yep. You head, you head through a narrow hallway. You see that no one's staff there until you look at the ver the wall where various posters of caricature caricature bears are just drawn car cartoonly, like with slogans such as "Keep eating habits healthy" and "Never practice dangerous magic without a buddy." All in the clip art style. <laughs> Such a. I just had to find that description because I thought it was neat. Then you head head in, seeing that no one in particular is up here. Until while well, walking through, you you unknowingly ring a bell and ah, what? I... Oh. Ah. What you see? Who is that? A oh, oh, oh. turtle. Oh. I would, I would actually say lizard folk. It looks oh. like a turtle. It looks like more, it. more like a salamander, really. I thought it was a turtle because of the back. Okay. Now they're just hunched over. I love them. Ah. <laughs> what? Um, sorry to interrupt. Just hang around. Ah, damn kids. <laughs> Uh, well, if you don't seem to be hurt. <laughs> Alright, just barely. Got some patience to take care of, so... Uh, what am, where are my manners? Zertha de Santos. Yes, that's actually their name. I did not make that up. What's the story? <laughs> Zertha de Santos. De, sa <laughs> de Santos! Amazing. <laughs> I am spelling that okay. Little, okay. No space, okay. I let me actually double check if it does have no I space. Wrote it with a space. Yep, it, it it literally just doesn't have a space. That's I didn't even make that up. That's just what I was told to use. Oh wow. Uh, if you don't have if you don't have any sick, you don't need to spend your time here. I'm already preoccupied dealing with this. Particular group of students who got cursed at Prismari. Uh. Wait a minute. Now I recognize you. You're one of the members of that winning team last year. Ah, yes, that one, that one. Ah, oh, coincidental. Your competitor friends are still recovering uh, up here. Can't send you in without good with good conscience as they are still recovering. But know that they are doing fine. Oh, we'll handle them. That's good. Yeah. And I'm wondering how they <sighs> They've been able to wake up and accomplish menial tasks, but for now. We've been keeping them safe and uh, patient with them with this particular case. Hopefully, with the Lizette's help, we can identify and cure them uh, so that they can participate still in their activities. Otherwise, we may have to enlist them in some summer courses, and nobody ever wants to enroll in those, despite what the teachers may want you to believe. Well. Anything else? Well, I guess it's kind of a wonder, but... Do you think it's usually happen in this hall? Since, you know, there's an infirmary here nearby? Yeah, it's more just... A relic of the past. But... Times like now are when it's needed.
This place used to be its own institution before Velovacus came and remodeled everything. So now we use it whenever it's needed and the main the central campus one is full. Which, with all of you young snappers flinging your spells everywhere, is often. Anything else? Um, I guess that's, that's all. It's good to know that our friends are here and... Oh yeah, I'm already about month, by the way. Ah, no. Well, if you've got nothing else, I got duties to attend to. Kids. Uh, and before you go, you turn around. Before you go, you turn around to see another post, another pers another poster. Live, laugh, love. Oh my god. Oh god. Okay. Oh some. shit. A boomer. A boomer. <laughs> oh no. Exactly. As Arlie goes anyway. on, she she says to herself, "Okay, Nantono, is an infirmary in this." At the very top floor, so you don't. No, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. giant owls, the fairy ancient people upstairs. Zertha de Santos. Oh, the killer's winter. The caretaker is a middle aged, aged white woman. woman. Yeah. Oh I think Zertha is meant to be a woman, but it was never specified, so I'll just. <laughs> you, you make up your own. Yeah, pretty much that. Okay. Now I ask. As everyone's getting down to work. And be boomer representation. Uh. Well. Now I ask. As everyone's getting to work. Is there anyone who decides to slip away from responsibilities? <laughs> nah. nah. Assuming you also told each other about the thing. Oh, well, we actually reached the end of the song. Oh. <coughs> I don't think Arlie would do that, though. Uh, Sinatus just wants to work. To those who want to know more about the missing records, Shivadri just tipped you off that there may be something you can find here, considering it's still a big library that the Biblioplex might not have. Fuck it, I'll, I'll do it and let Finn work for me. Just call me irresponsible, then you skip out on work. Wow. I mean, it's just one hour of skipping out out of like six. But still, it's stronger anyway. <laughs> yeah, the socializing, so. <laughs> just saying. If one, if the, if only one of you goes and does it and fails, well, getting back here may prove to be another task. Up to you all. You have that past life stuff. You'll be fine. <laughs> Do you make an excuse to Peter Parker your way out of this responsibility? Peter Parker. Okay. To anyone going, roll me your choice. I to to anyone going to try and slink away. Roll me either your choice of stealth or persuasion. 
Oh no. If it's persuasion, <laughs> I guess your scarf can help here. Okay. Anyone can do it within the period, but yeah. Mm. Make up an excuse. Oh god. Oh god. Oh boy. Well. Okay, here's the scarf. Okay. And then we have this. Okay. And another one, please. Okay, nice. Okay, let me just double check everything. Okay, what's the final answers or final rolls? Uh, 20 for me. 20 and 21, okay, both are enough. What's your excuses? <sighs> um. <laughs> <laughs> Murdoch suddenly feeling alive and needs to get that checked out. <laughs> oh god, yeah, guys. Dead person problems. I, uh. I'm feeling a case of being alive, and I think I need to get that checked out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a great excuse, Sid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry, guys, my. Player is cutting off. The the rigor mortis is is coming again. That's why I need to rest. <laughs> okay, so we're leaving it up to these two to find some missing information. This is going <laughs> to end very well. Uh, uh, we'll wait. Excuse for you. you, I have high investigation. <laughs> Yeah, but your luck is dog shit. <laughs> That's true. So we will be assuming that you're both in some places alone and unable to receive aid from your allies who didn't come with you. So either you two are working together or working independently in different corners. Meanwhile, everyone else is working and doing their stuff. Uh, yeah, we need to wait for Sid on this. But, well, I guess I can just give a bit of a narrative filler. While everyone is transporting supplies, well, Gion and Murdoch kind of realized, after being told Gion, after being told by presumably one of the three, Gion thinks that this may also be a good time to slink off from duties and potentially investigate those missing records or the gap the records that they all found before as the biblioplex archives weren't okay and as the deeper biblioplex archives weren't really available to the characters while they were doing their historical research maybe ignoring manual labor for an hour and perusing the archives here might give you a little a little insight as to what's happening while well, you're all Go going to do here and work on investigating what happened. Oh. <laughs> Murdoch and Gion, if you can hear us, roll me your history checks. Okay. Nice. Oh, nice. Uh, someone thinks it and stay history. This is going down in history. Okay. Well, while you're per while you're slacking off, quote, 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 or getting checked for an hour, Murdoch, 
eventually find some. <laughs> you eventually find some tomes that, well, perhaps match with the records of that age. For reference, it's about this point that everyone else is getting the, getting their own stuff done. Every <laughs> Well, I'm, I need to wait for Sid on this. And you think you found it? No, I'm just, yeah, I'm gonna wait on Sid. Meanwhile, what's everyone else doing with their manual labor? Um, oh, there we go. I mean, so go on. Sid, roll history. Well, one of you got it, at least. The so two of you got it. Okay. Well, while they're doing that... It was just a trick shot, luck steal. <laughs> while you're doing that, the people who didn't shirk off their duties... Are lay Midnight and Sinatus. You three can choose to gain one friendship die from one of the other two of your choice. These two, well, Yan got nothing because bad rolls. Murdoch got information. Let's go, information. Uh, Poor Gian. And, uh, blame Llama. Fuck Murdoch, you. over here you find some records detailing some time around 200 years ago. While the gap in the biblioplex left you wanting more, this one actually... In a little off corner with inside the dusty tome, you actually find what seems to be a first-hand report dating 200 years ago. Specifically written, probably taken from one of the archives in the infirmary from the third floor. Wow. It details a first-hand medical record of 200 years ago, which involves some sort of unidentifiable illness striking campus. Reportedly, dozens of students fell victim to it, receiving fatigue and headaches. What is worrying is that many of these dozen died within a few days, despite all efforts to cure them. Well, hmm. you think you got it. It lists some names of students that, well, you don't really recognize as patients, but this is definitive proof. All right. Well, do you take it? Yeah. Yeah, take it and keep it somewhere. To those who don't know, you can actually put book in your inventory and embers and mark it as whatever book you actually are carrying. This one is medical records. Mm-hmm. And it's been to prove that something did happen. It's a bit... One hour is a bit <laughs> too fast for you to truly pour into it. But while combining this with what we already know may prove to reveal something. It didn't before. And eventually you all... Return to your duties. As well, you all meet back up at around the center. Just as a little bit of your break. Feel free to talk to each other on what you've all been doing. <coughs> so, I, I found something interesting. Hmm? I'll show... I'll show them the records. I'll see those. I will actually put you here. Hmm. That's a TLDR of it, at least.
Mm. Anyone reacting? Well, that's something. Could Might be. be. Hmm. Did we hear about any of the symptoms at all? Like just around? Well, there has been that rumor of an illness going about again, but. Well, is it a rumor at this point? It is happening. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let's hope hmm. these two incidents aren't connected. Connected to that redacted student. Mm. <coughs> it's definitely possible. No. The paper was marked 200 years ago, right? Yep, the time frame matches up. Mm, time is about the same, so it's definitely a possibility. There's an infirmary on the third floor. That's a professor there. Saying that the firestorm is in here, actually. How are they holding up? Never really found out. Yeah. <laughs> Hard to just gender a lizard person just by yeah. looking at them. They said they're they're real with fine, them. but not awake yet. They're trying to find a cure. <coughs> the name's Zertha de Santos, I think. I don't know. The, motiva the motivational posters say otherwise. <laughs> if you guys ever want to check that out, just go to the third floor and you'll see like a narrow hallway there. Hmm. Keep that in mind. Well, you were more told off because you never even booked something. Yeah, you, just, you just kind of... <laughs> you, you just entered. I just, I just said hello. Well, you entered the quarantine ward. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, that's what I found out in the third floor so far. <coughs> Who knows, maybe they hmm. might have any knowledge on that. Possibly. Hmm. Well, Gian, yeah. did you find something? Uh, <laughs> um. <laughs> I see. Hmm. Oh, you're all so here just no. gathering on the stairs. You're seeing the job that's about. Nearly done. Sun setting, all that. Students are a bit knackered, tired. Just resting up above on the seats. You're all decently worn, but not, not ever, not so much though. Not, not to the point that you're exhausted. Just, yeah, it was a good workout. But as everything is happening, though, you all, uh. Especially you, Arlay. There's some... Something... Or some people... Chatting rather loudly upstairs. Specifically... He, you hear... A couple students... Talking to Kayla. Which is... Out of character. Until you realize they're not... Talking. They're... Telling her off. Oh. Stuff like I don't have tokens for them. Generic student one and generic student two. <laughs> like, John student. You hear the you look 
you look up to definitely see them w be wearing Lorehold Lorehold robes and what is this witch doing here and <laughs> stuff like what is hey what's this witch doing here isn't she isn't she she isn't even Lorehold what's she what's her doing here just because you're yeah. present committee doesn't mean it. and well um, Gian you've heard this before yeah Gian just walks up to them and is like and as you anyone walk, and as before you walk up though you just hear them just you Arlie, you just hear Killen just not really saying anything, just trying to move what she's trying to do and well oh, oh don't you don't you think you could don't think you could just walk past us without without us noticing and kinda of like push her against the railing? Okay, wait, okay. now that's Okay, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna the others. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and it's at yeah. As you There's fly no walk, need for it, there... but I have arcing bread. <laughs> I have arcing I'm going that up. too. Yeah, while you're all doing that, the box that Kayla was carrying seemingly tips over and falls to the, falls all the way down here, pff, crashing to the point where the other tired students are. Or the... Oh no. Where, where among the, where among those crashed boxes and beyond, you reach all the way up here and I'll shoo them off. Shoot them off. Uh, anyone still on the bottom floor? I guess I'm still there since Dion went through. Essentially, all just see a bunch of spilled banners and contents out in the ground. I'm gonna start gathering them. Well, as you start gathering them up. Can I go to one of the students? Uh, yeah, you can chase after one of them. Jan just checks up on Kayla and she is, she is, she's all right. He's just huddled up, not even looking at you. Like, you know, you, you know the look of someone who's already used to it. Mm -hmm. I follow Murdoch. <laughs> well, as you're all doing that, Midnight, you helping out Arlai, I guess? Thank God, my room's getting cold. Yeah. Well, you're all out doing that. You see that Yvonne is nowhere out in sight. However, Arlay, you do notice something particular about these roads. That Arlay and Midnight roll me your choice of Investigation or Arcana. Well, both are the same, so... Let's see. Let me use... Oh, my back. Okay, well, that's enough for both of you. You notice that these these banners and robes do seem magical as they're suddenly floating up and about. What you both do notice, though, as Midnight, you're the one to notice force. Choose to either push to go get out of the way yourself or push Arlie out. These robes are alive. Oh, God. Living objects again. <laughs> oh, yeah. Escape yourself or push Arlie out. <laughs> Midnight <laughs> okay, PTSD <fine. laughs> gonna get fucked up by robes. <laughs> you got F up by chairs, now this. <laughs> push Arlie out of the way. <laughs> yes. Arlie! And <laughs> with that being with that being said, let me change screens as well. Time to test uh. out your level 7 capabilities against rugs. <laughs> Amazing! Rugs. Oh, no, it's the magic carpet from Aladdin. It is, no. but very aggressive. <laughs> oh no. We're right, gonna then. die. <laughs> Some of the tokens out of the way just so that they don't get in the way of these ones. Well, time to... No, I said I would have Arcing Brand, so I might as well use that. Plus, I just got it upgraded, so... Okay, well that's one, that two, and as some of them explode and go flying out, you all hear a commotion start as the rugs wake up. Hmm. And well, it is time. Everyone, this is 
the ending of the session, so don't worry. Roll me some initiative. As I get. No! Oh, look at that! Let's look at mine! Oh, okay. Uh, who goes first? Why are you all rolling so high? I always roll bad on initiative. This is a trial by combat. Midnight gets surrounded again. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, yep, this is the music I was talking to Shadow about. New Laurel Bell theme. Oh, let's go. I, look, when I heard drums, I knew I had to. Okay, oh, Arlay. Drums. Arlay. 15. 18. Gyan. 13. 13. <sighs> Midnight. Oh god. Uh, wow, three of us hold 18. 18. I mean, that's good. Uh, for context, I... I suppose this one, Arlay, you're a bit further away. The spacing isn't accurate just due to how wide the saw is. Yeah. So I'd say about here is accurate to everyone. Uh, no, you would be right next to this, so around there. Alright, Freddy? Uh, 16. Nice. Venom, 11. Murdoch? 18. Wow. Tenatus. Nine. <laughs> okay, and with the sword, uh, that's 21, 18, 18. Who go, who's going first among you all? I think Midnight, Midnight and then me. Uh, is there any one of you lower than a plus two on Dex? I... <laughs> okay, the rug goes before you. Damn. 15, 15. Uh, what, Gion, you are... Let me double check you. <sighs> Gion, the rug goes before you. It's me. It's an and that. Okay. We're starting off then as... These are rugs. And which one is this one? Ah, well. I'm sorry, Midnight. <laughs> <laughs> Yes! Dog pile the rabbit! Part two! This. You see the volatile rug just. Well, it's called the rug of smothering. I wonder what it's going to do. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna smother you. Nice. Okay, and with that being said, it's going to essentially roll to hit you. Which is going to be a 22. Ooh. Okay. I assume it, I'm assuming that gets you. And the thing about this is, it doesn't do damage. You are grappled. The thing about this grappled is... It's a special kind of grapple. Since you are now wrapped by the rug, you are restrained, blinded, and starting to suffocate. Uh, hmm. Oh, that's that's fun. And also, the rug is also now wrapping around midnight. I wonder how I wonder how hitting the rug would work. Mm, <laughs> we're about to find out, because that's all I can do. And speaking of, that's all it can do on its turn, because at the start of your turn, midnight. Yep, at the start of your turn, please take. If we die to fucking rugs. <laughs> wow. Murdoch's just forever. At the grappling. start of your turn, you take nine bludgeoning damage and are starting to suffocate. You are yeah. under restrained, so you have disadvantage on attack rolls, cannot move. You are blinded, so no sight based spells. And, well, suffocating is already happening. What do you want to do? <laughs> just don't breathe. Easy. <laughs> 
it's it's less about you not needing to not needing to breathe and it's also just knocking you about of stab it hmm. you try to grab your rapier despite it all with disadvantage try to stab it come on uh both of those are still enough oh nice <laughs> they're big rugs <laughs> all right then show me what you can do as you pierce your way through this Ooh. okay here's the thing you technically still damaged it, so this is how it'll work. As you grab your rapier to try and pierce your way through the rug, it's, it's kind of hard to get into a fighting stance with this rug. As you stab the rapier, you, pretty, you do feel that you are dealing damage to it, but at the same time, it's moving and wrapping around you in such a way that it's bringing your rapier back onto you. Oh, it God. takes nine. You take nine. It's resisted. Oh, nope, it's just dead. It's just transferring the damage back. Oh, to night. this goddamn rug. Take this nine of your own piercing damage and it takes nine. OK, that's fun. Well, yeah, this is Kayla is just Kayla is just here crying in the corner. Oh, anything else? Uh, nope. Can't move. That's all. Murdoch! Well, this is a predicament. Huh, okay. You sure it's yeah. no one's birthday right now? <laughs> <laughs> I'm <sighs> going to cast Mage Armor on myself. Yeah. <laughs> um. Then I guess I'll just go to the right. Okay, you're on the second floor, staying up here. Yeah. Okay, how far? Um, let's do 20. Here? Well, yeah. Ozzy Ozzy gone. Gone. All right. Okay. I'd say these these guys are still within 190, probably. OK. Uh, one of them is hugging midnight right now. Oh. Okay. Yeah, Finn is, Finn is going to shoot that rug. OK, then. Come on, please. Come on. Oh, oh, my God. God! Finn shoots an arrow when Midnight tr in trying to stab this thing. You feel like Finn was about to strike it, and then Midnight's rapier pokes out of the rug and blocks the arrow tip. Damn it, Midnight! This is your fucking fault! He can't see! He needs to fix his eye. <laughs> Poke some holes in the rug. Well, at oh. least he didn't also damage Midnight. Yeah, I guess. Uh... Okay, that's, uh, that's my turn. Uh, okay, then. Uh, this one. Well, it's going to just be flying around. How much can these things move? Oh, not a lot. So... That's all of its movement speed. Amazing. Well... You are already grappled, and these things have a... Just because you would normally plow through these too easily, they have the grappler feet. <laughs> Which really only means they get advantage on this one roll. So, that is going to be a 19 to midnight. Yeah. Well... You now have a second rug on you, and I think you can see where this is going. <laughs> uh, amazing. Yeah, this is fine. Oh my god. Furniture hates midnight. <laughs> Arlay. Uh... I realize it didn't actually get your aura within you, within this map. Eh, I'll just use normal if you want to use it. Yeah, midnight's having a bit of a problem right now. And you kind of owe him for... You're, yeah. you're kind of admiring him right now for not letting you be the victim of that. I'm going to fly up <coughs> equal level to the second floor. And, uh... All right. Uh, hmm. Come I don't on. think... <laughs> are we, are <laughs> we able to determine that this is natural magic? Or is 
I mean, it's some sort of magic. All you know, it's tr it's trying to smother you. Uh, that is. Good. Oh god, I, 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 can't, you... I can't tell if there's one or two rugs on midnight. There's two currently. About to be a third one. Oh boy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, sure. I'll attempt to spell magic on the one. <laughs> one of the ones on midnight. Which one? The one there's the one that's see. already. There's the one. To be fair, you can't really tell right now. Yeah. Let's just, let's just choose the one that got hit. <laughs> okay. You're trying to dispel it. Alright then. Then as it is a magical... A magical sort of... Construct. It does have anti-magic accessibility. Just ah. as predicted. It will roll a con save. Which Ooh. it will roll a 7 on. Oh. oh. It is unconscious. But not... Totally. Okay. Okay, that's unconscious. <laughs> okay, get it now. <laughs> Kill it before it comes back. Yes. Murder. I, I think you would crit it if you hit it. Okay. Unconscious. Oh. Do I have unconscious here? I'll just say stunned. Okay, but what if <laughs> crit is its smite? Oh my god. <laughs> Here's the thing. It's still on midnight. Yep. <laughs> okay, if that would that be a crit to midnight too? Half, well. half of half of it would go to midnight. That's one. Yeah, I'll just say stunned. Well, that's one of them. And oh, let's I'll do Shalele first. I'll just do this, might as well. Yeah, that's the unconscious one. It's still on midnight. Shalele? Yep. Alright then. That you? Yep. Shalele! Freddy! Okay, Freddy is gonna go 15 feet up. Hap, hap, hap. Yeah, and, and 5 feet to the right. Hap. And that's it. Okay. Okay, this rug. Well, now it's going to chase after some others. One, two, three. Hello Hi. there. Okay. Hi. I'm to see if it can even hit Dion. Does the armor help in any way since it's grapple? This is. Right now, it's just an attack roll. Ah, okay. An attack roll are which they, totals the, the seven. Rugs? I assume the rugs are flying. Isn't it? Yep. Okay. And that's a seven to attack, so no. <laughs> wow. This one is well, it's already on midnight. So it's just well. Yeah, that's gonna be a twenty-four. So another rug on midnight. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. The wow. rugs really pissed me, and then. It's midnight. <laughs> yeah, and one of this is right on you. Or trying to be right on you. <laughs> uh, Gan is going to smack the shit out of it. <laughs> Go. Come on, you're all level 7 now. This is your playground. Okay, both are enough. Oh my god! Wow! <laughs> okay. Oh. Well, that's 12 bludgeoning damage to the rug. And nope, it does not have anything to negate that damage, so that's just flat 12. Oh, and then Marlet is going to smack it to Aegis. Go, Marlet, go! Oh. 
And that is surprisingly one not enough. Of course. <laughs> and, yeah. And... The bot just hates bonus actions. <laughs> yep. Mm. Uh, moving anywhere? Uh, I'm assuming that could provoke, so I'm just gonna stay there. <laughs> Good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Venom is high here. If he That'll Venom could on. try to pull the one that's unconscious, <laughs> if you really want to, How it is unconscious, so three? Venom actually has a chance. Could Midnight just teleport out or teleport? <laughs> but Venom would. Do you want Venom to take four D six plus six? <laughs> oh, damn. No. Venom would be pissed the amount of time that he just put him in danger. <laughs> That's that's Midnight's latest paycheck just gone. Oh Venom will pull it. Venom, roll me the best strength check you can muster. Come on, Venom, you got Venom. it. Oh, oh my hey. god, that's enough. Okay. Venom successfully pulls this rug down. Strong. Let's go. Okay, that's one worry reduced. Nice. Now for the other two ladies. Now for the other two. <laughs> um. Hmm. <laughs> and it just sees a glimmer of light and then goes back into darkness. Venom MVP. Good job, Venom. Wait, let me just. Uh, oh. Condition <laughs> unconscious. Yeah, that's that's what this rug is on. Venom just stays um, there. All right then, Sinatus. Okay. Well, if I hit any of you guys, that's just gonna be bad. So I'm no, gonna just go weird. to the. Yeah, it's I'm only on the go. ones on midnight. Oh, the one well, on Gian didn't didn't grapple him. Ah, okay. Well, I'm gonna go to the unconscious one. Okay then. You can get one hit off before as a crit. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, roll me first of all an attack roll with advantage to see if you even hit or somehow miss. I. S mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, let's see. Suppose advantage. Okay, good. Okay. Now. Oh, no, it's a plus seven, but that doesn't even make a difference. Is this with your uh, sword? No, this is arcing brand. Okay, go. Uh, Let's see if you also use a okay. bonus action to summon it. Yeah. Or just an item in a right. Uh, no, you don't carry it. I think I had it beforehand because I said I summoned right. it to chase down the dude. <laughs> All right. Go ahead, then. Okay. Crit. Crit. Oh. Okay, 46 plus. Was it doubled mods, right? Yep. Okay, so that's a 46 plus 8. <coughs> Um, that oh was my dog shit. God. <laughs> wow. That was so bad. <laughs> That's a lot of ones. Uh, wow. Another one. Why should I grasp? So... Oh yeah, I was gonna do that to the ones on midnight. Which one? The the, the topmost one. All right. What was that? A two d six? I think it. Yeah, it upscales now. Yeah, so two d six. No, that's a T. Get that out of here. Eight. Wow. Okay, so 13 damage four. on this one. As it crits and, well, gets gets back awake. To the one to midnight, though, we'll take four light... Wait, I think... Yeah, I will take four lightning damage. And someone ping high that midnight also takes four lightning damage. <laughs> I'll do it since I'm the one... Uh, I'm here. Are you here? Okay, nice. You felt a bit of a shock run through you. For lightning damage. I still have another attack, yep, right? You still have another okay. attack. That was just I'm one. Gonna, I'm gonna fuck up this one, though. Come on. End it. Ground. Uh, yeah. That's enough. Okay, nice. It was four. Uh, uh, yeah, two to six was four. 
Yeah. Okay, that is 11, which is... Is it enough? It's enough to put it down. Nice. Oh, nice. Down. Okay, one and... down. Oh. Oh, uh, as bonus action, action. I have how much movement left? Uh, I'll allow that to be at like 20, just because you have to run okay, downstairs. Okay, I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move. Slope. <laughs> 10 feet to the right. Not helping out midnight, all right then. <laughs> I'm going to. I just can't do anything. I can't help if I'm fucking smothered. <laughs> you, he would not take four of them. So that's a thing. Measure. <laughs> you would present yourself as another target. Yeah, why not? Yeah, that's my <laughs> job anyway. Let's go back. Yeah. <laughs> All right, then. Well, it's these ones next. And sure, since you just presented yourself, it will fall that will fall down on top of you. Wow. Look at this green. Amazing. <laughs> and well, that's going to be. Um, I don't have my shield out, so 17 AC. <laughs> that's going to be a 23. Could I even shield that? I don't think I could. Are you going to be grappled? It was, yeah, it's one below. Yeah, I'm grappled. Okay. Ah, well, Ooh. here we go. And that's another one. And then the other one. I mean, since you're the only two ones here. It Whoa. <laughs> Going to, going to go for Sinatus as well with advantage now. That's actually... going to be a 14 though, so no. Nah, fuck you, you suck. Only by Look one of my them. Spells. Midnight, at the start of your turn, you take both of these two's bludgeoning damage, totaling to 46 plus 6. No! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's just getting eaten by the fucking things! Yeah, I don't... <laughs> That's gonna keep happening until someone frees him. Well, I have an idea. I do too, but I don't know if it'll work, because I'm not sure if I can see anything. Can I see the floor? No, you are blinded. Okay, I can't see shit then. Then Shatter wouldn't work. Is this a touch? Okay, it's a touch. I can't even do it anyways. Uh, bested I mean, by rugs. I'm sure you can touch, like... Are, are we, like, entirely eaten by these things? Like, yes. you can't see any of us? You, touch I reach spells would work. Okay. I'll allow it, since it's... If you can touch... If you can use touch reach spells through clothes, I'll let it go through rugs. Touch range is just... Doesn't have to exactly be touched, just within enough of space to reach. Restoration prepared for some reason. <laughs> I don't what does this look? If you want to see. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if this is magical blindness. Like, yeah. if it isn't, I yeah. Yeah, I don't know how that would work. <laughs> I don't think it would. Just, I don't think it would work like that. You could just that's to like you could just tow them up. I had, yeah, I, my idea was. I'll mm. stab it again <laughs> with disadvantage and hoping you don't do enough damage to yourself. Oh my god. Fucking yes. rugs. Amazing. I love them so much. Can you even try to break free from the I mean, I guess it could. It's just a grapple. Uh, do I need to see for It would be a contested yeah. grapple if you want to try and break free. I mean, it doesn't say I need to see for burning hands, does it? You gotta burn yourself? No. You would I still be need... grappled, so you would still damage yourself. Hey, I can- I can fucking- if anyone can take damage- True. You could try and attempt to escape. I'll try to break free then. Oh, it's a How grapple, many... so... Would that break you free from two rugs or one rug at a time? I'll say- I'll say roll twice. 
Athletics or acrobatics? Roll twice. You have good decks, don't you? You should be good. Oh, oh god. god. Oh, oh god. god! The answer is no. You have a plus fucking one? Oh, wait. Fucking Hexblades use their charisma to smack shit. Wait. Yes. Yeah. Well, Do that's you just shit? something. Well, oh boy. You know, the funny part is you're technically dimly lit, aren't you? No. <laughs> <laughs> this can come up bad. I mean, huh. Fly away. I'll cut you a deal. Do you want to use your DM, in DM inspiration to instead redo that roll and turn into a bat? And would you still be yes. grabbing yes. the bat? <laughs> I feel bad for doing this to midnight enough times. <laughs> <laughs> All right, spend your DM inspiration and essentially get a fire emblem retry. <laughs> okay, turn into a bat then. <laughs> All right then. So you turn into a bat, Bye and I'll allow I'll allow you I'll, I'll allow this. You would still be inside of the rugs. But you have escaped from the space, but now you're not being suffocated. But you are a bat now. You're just flying inside a dome of rocks now. You still take the, you still took the damage as you had to start it, but now you are You are a tiny. Bat night. Night bat. You are tiny so... and you And unless these rugs suffocate you again or no, they're not smart enough. <laughs> All right, then. So you're escaping that so far. Uh, Murdoch, I'll let you roll a perception check on that. Hey, okay. Nice. Midnight. Hey. The rugs smothering midnight seem to have kind of just imploded. As if midnight is either not in the space anymore or shrunk. It may be safe to fire now. Okay. Um yeah, let's do that then. Um Chromatic Orb. Let's do this. Are you gonna do psychic damage against an object? No. <laughs> I'm doing chromatic orb, not psychic bands. <laughs> Oh Holy my fucking god, fuck. that's one not enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I you do not have friendship. friendship. Oh yeah, you didn't get it because <laughs> Dion failed. <laughs> you got... Yep. I don't know how that shit works. Ah, uh, beloved. <laughs> well, good thing Ooh. you have that. Come on, it's literally 12. Alright then, I'm assuming you're trying to shoot for the one that's already hurt. Deal your damage then as you try and... Yeah. Burn. Torch, acidify, whatever. Burn it. Oh my fucking god. Damn. So I'm not rolling well. Just, I think it just dies. Wow. Nope, it's still on 9 <laughs> HP. Damn. Okay. They're surprisingly okay. tanky. That confirms something. Come I on. Well, Come on, Finn. Are not Finn. Finn. Fire Finn. 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 Please. On, Finn. 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 That's yeah. Yeah. Oh You're my going. god. I would scream, but it's night. Come on. I, go I go. can't Love believe this. Oh my god, he actually hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seven. No. It's, it survives on two. Oh my god. Hey, he, did, he did a good job. Okay, that's okay, but that, my turn. But, okay, but that at least took attention away from Midnight. That's nice. Okay. Uh, okay, not moving, so it will be this one then. Well, it says that whatever target was it was grappling is gone now, so it might as well just switch to someone else. Yeah. Oh, hello. Oh. No, not the bird. Not the bird. Is this flying? Oh my. Not yes. the bird. Well, uh, more, it's more hovering. Okay. But yes, it counts as flying. I mean, Do you want to use it? I could use the staff. <laughs> Let's use it. I haven't used this one in, yeah, in so it's, long. It's called the... It's called the Skyblinder. Tell us how it shines. Uh, wait. I didn't think this far ahead. 
<laughs> RLA finally- Actually, I think you did get attacked by a flying creature before this, just didn't use the staff. Yeah, I, I was just- Who well, used it time. on the bird? Um, RLA just instinctively blocks herself, and then you just see all the gems in her staff start to blow up. Shing! It would be disadvantage, so... I mean, let's see. I'll roll here. Come on. Hey! Good. Thanks. Alright uh, then, fun. you are not grappled by this as you spend your reaction, just... Yeah. You don't know how this thing was... Well... It's, mo it's more just the maneuver that caused disadvantage. It says con I'll save? let that. Uh, con save? Uh, just placed it, just paste it so I know. Yeah. I forgot what that item did because it's been so long. Okay. Pull staff law, flare with light, disadvantage to attack roll, 50. Or be blinded. It doesn't need to do that because oh, yeah. this thing doesn't have eyes. Okay then. Well, at least I'm not grappled. <laughs> yeah. You at least avoid the attack, but it's not blinded because it can't be blinded. True. <laughs> okay. Well, that's good then because it's your turn. Yay. Okay, well. <laughs> I don't want to get smothered by this, so. <laughs> Disengage, fly away. All right then. Nope, nope, Where do you want to nope. fly to? Um. <coughs> I just go bottom. Right. All the way thirty. Yeah, sure. Why not? Fun fact: that's actually enough to get, to outrun them because they they have twenty. No. <laughs> Okay, that's... They are very maneuverable. And well, let's retire. Let's take a break from the unicorn and summon the bear where Midnight and Sinatus are and beyond. Okay. Uh, how far is the radius? I didn't copy paste the thing. Wait, 30 feet radius? Sir, yep. Uh, can it get. Yeah, I think. Oh wow, it can even get. I think it can even get Murdoch if you try hard enough. Oh yeah, you can get everyone. I can get everyone. Okay. Nice. Everyone gets 12 gems. Okay, let me... Nice! Uh... Does Finn get that? I don't think so, right? Uh, I don't know. Is it Finn or not? Prob <laughs> probably it's not. Let's just say probably not. It's creature choice, but I don't know. You, you rule it. Yeah, yeah Construct's an undead. It's pro probably just not. Okay, so let me just update the HP bars for that. that. Everyone gets 12 now? Yep, 7 plus 5. Yep, this is level up. Uh, and you get advantage on strength safety checks now. Wow, that's actually pretty useful right now. Yep. Mm. So I was asking if you can break me. <laughs> yep. This will be 23. Oh my god, I'm two points away from 69. Oh. Oh. At 83. And 53 60, HP, Murdoch. <laughs> Venom would also get some temp HP. Venom won't die on one hit anymore. <laughs> nice. 33 and. <laughs> Alright then, that's your turn? Yep. Freddy uh, gets Freddy. a 2. Oh yeah, Freddy gets it too, since Freddy is technically Faye. Oh my! Yeah. <laughs> okay, um, Freddy is gonna move to the... to the rug next to Gian. Hop, hop, hop. Helping? And just help, yeah. Come on, Gian, you can do it, I believe in you. you got and this. speak. If that's it, speaking of Vulp, this one will just... I mean, it will just... Try to attack Gion again. That's going to be a 21, though. Want to shield it? Yep. Alright, shielding that. As no, you don't. Tries to tries to wrap around you until you pull out your shield. Nice. That's all it can do. This one that's pretty much just dead. Uh, well, switching to Sinatus. Oh, uh, uh, nice. This is fine. <laughs> that looks like some kind of more than I The way his oh face just peeks from the hole is perfect. 
24. <laughs> it somehow managed. 24, yeah. I can't do anything about that either, so just yeah. 24. Yep. And well, that's three of them on you. Nice. Which will total to 6d6 plus 9. Mmm, tasty. Come your turn. Yeah, and your shield just runs out, but that's fast. <laughs> it was a fast shield. Well, I'm gonna snag this again. You have advantage on one. I'll roll that advantage on. Oh, you got hey. That's good. Nice. 10 bludgeoning. No, that's the second attack. I'm gonna friendship oh. that. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. I thought it was solo, I thought it was damage. <laughs> 14 okay. is enough. That's it. Damage it twice then. I assume. Okay, you're choosing the pulse to attack. Okay, good. Oh, there oh. we go. Now it's dead. Definitely dead, dead. dead. Yeah. Nice. Good or at shit. least it, it falls to the ground inactive. <sighs> okay, okay. I'm gonna head down. Up, up. Wanna he heading down next to one of them? Yeah. Up, up, up. I think this one is right And then yep. my little come up and smack that one. Okay, go. That's enough. Good shit. Seven hey, force damage. As Marla just beats the rug into submission. And that's my job. And with that being your turn, it shall be Venom. Does Venom want to get the fuck out of here? Yes, disengaging. <laughs> Yep. Uh, God, there's so many tokens that I actually can't grab Venom. <laughs> uh, there we go. Move up. All the way up. Good. Stay there. <coughs> that good? Yep. Alright then. Uh, alright then. That'll just be Venom's turn then. Mm. Yep. Alright, Zenatus. Let's test out how tanky your HP is. Yeah. Okay, good. here we go. 6d6 plus 9. Oh, Woo! What? Every right you, there. you are just being tossed aside in there. Surprisingly, oh, you are still... 34, right? 34 oh, yeah. bludgeoning. Oh, good. God, that's right there. So. Well, it, would be at four, it would be at 49, I think. Yeah. Mm. Okay, then. Well, no. you are blinded, you are restrained, and you are already suffocating. Well, oh, that's tasty. Get out of here, temp HP. Fuck off. Okay. I can't see anything. I'm blind. Yep, you would you yeah. would just have to swing wildly. You yeah. could burn everything, including I like yourself. The sound of that. Oh uh, yeah, definitely. Let's do that. You want to burn everything? Yeah, let's burn everything. All right then. Uh, uh, what, what's the components for burning hands? Let me see. Burning hands. It, it is purple and somatic. Uh. Yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah, sure, I can let that. If they're moving erratically to the point where you can get it out. You will okay. damage yourself, though. Yeah. All right. Then. Mm, they would transfer damage. Remember that. Yeah. Should All I... three of them. Tasty. Oh, I, I'll live. <laughs> I'm not worried about it. <laughs> I'll worry about it. I'll, I'll worry about it when I'm not when I'm dead. All right, then. Burning all four of you. Roll me your you dex save. 
Let's do, yeah, let's, let me roll my own deck save. I'm not good at that. <laughs> roll your own deck save, I'll roll for them. Uh, bang. Oh, I actually passed. <laughs> I think the DC is oh, only two One pass. pass. My my spell save higher with pass. arcing brand. Yeah, no one pass because yeah, fifteen. It's harder with arcing brand. Okay. Okay, roll your damage. Yeah, uh, First or second is, level? Yeah, this second. All right it's, then. It's Everyone burned. just sees these rugs lighting up. Come on, damage. Okay. 12. Okay. Yeah. Here is what happens. Firstly, you pass your own, so you take six. Nah, you take six. Not bad. Two of them fail, which I will just select to be... This, which will take six, which means you also take six again. This one okay, takes no six. six. Which, uh, this one takes six, which means you also take six again. Another six? Okay, well, let me just double check here. I think this one is dead. Okay, that one's dead. This one takes... This one takes three. And you take three. Uh-huh. Okay, so you take six plus six plus three. So you would take yeah. 15 extra fire damage from being pretty much cooked. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna... A oh, second win, then. Why not? Let's do that. How? Oh my god. Second wind. Alright then. Everyone just yeah. sees Sidney just literally cooking himself to get this thing off. <laughs> oh, it's plus seven now. Oh my! Yeah. Wow. Oh, that's yeah. Just all night HP back. Yeah. You, you, think, you think leveling up a bit fire doesn't really do much for you until you see your second wind rolls. And back to 44. Remember, remember the more that's you level 56. up a fighter. The more you level up in fighter, the better your second wind is. Okay, let's see. You know yeah. what? It's looking still pretty good, somehow. Could I... I could technically action surge. You could. Do it again? Yeah, <laughs> let's do it again! Alright then. Oh my we'll God. do the first level this time, see, though. Like, yeah. It's badass, yeah. though. Here's another plus one. I think so. Bye. <laughs> oh. You failed now? Alright then. Yeah. We, we just see that Sims cooking animation. Oh my god. Only, only one fail and one pass. Okay. I'll say, yeah, let's just do it first level. Yeah, he can, and he can legally cast two spells. Is it 3d6? Wow. No, it's wow. Was it 3d6? Wait. That's a, yeah, wait, yeah. Yeah, no, I got that wrong. I'll let the first one pass since it was low rolls anyway, but this one, yeah, yeah re-roll. Yeah, it's 3d6. Damn. It's a difference. There is a difference. So, fail for you, so you take 5 again. Yeah, you take that other 5. Oh my god. This one fails, so it takes... Uh, it'll take reduced. It will take 3. And you take two. Okay. This one succeeds, so half of five would just be three. It takes two. Not the game. You take one. <laughs> All right. Okay. Was, Everyone just saw Sinatus cook himself alive, and surprisingly, he's still about 50%. <laughs> <laughs> I did it twice. <laughs> you have enough of a moment to, sh to shout. It's hot. <laughs> That's my turn. That's it's okay, hot. Then. <laughs> That's hot. <laughs> and well, can I move or am I stuck? Nope, you are still restrained. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, well, this one is just going to be. I mean, it's already grappled onto you, so it can really do one thing. It'll just try to <laughs> shove you prone. <laughs> of course. Oh, does does restrain re give you disadvantage? Is that the that? exact same game as I, know, I think restrain gives you dex disadvantage, so yeah. Yeah, we have the dex Is it a saving advantage. throw? It's just a check. Oh. Uh, and you would actually have advantage because of the bear totem. Oh! No, it's just normal. Yeah. I'm assuming you're going uh, to pass this with what it rolled. Is it athletics? Athletics or, or acrobatics? acrobatics. Okay. It's a nine. It 
You have advantage. Oh, I do? Okay, nice. Air totem. Oh, okay. my geez. That's definitely enough. Nice. So yeah, you stand your ground. This one as well is just going to do the same thing. Roll again. Okay. With advantage. You can't really do anything else. They already got you. And you pass. Okay, you don't get knocked to the ground as everyone sees Sinead's get cooked, try to be tossed aside, and still somehow standing his ground. Midnight. You can fly away and break concentration at any time. Remember, since since Polymorph is concentration, you can break free any time and attack from any point after flying. Okay, I'm gonna move up. How much movement speed does a bat have? Five feet up. I'll break concentration. Everyone sees bat. <gasps> Bat Knight. Bat Knight. <laughs> Batman the Bat Knight. Everyone sees, everyone sees Bat Knight pop back into form, breaking concentration. Are you gonna stab Sinatus? Are you gonna Eldritch Smite it? I have all the revenge. You know what? He can take it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Watch it, great. Alright then, what are you doing? Uh, I can't believe the cloak actually saved you. I mean, wait, 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 wait. How would... I don't know how that would work if you crits. It would also still crit you. Ah, even with the... okay. It would technically still be had, but he's essentially doing normal damage to two people. Stabby stab! Could I... I don't know. Oh my god, one misses. <laughs> wow. Somehow. I don't think I could shield that. Somehow. Because it's not attacking No, me. it's not it's directly attacking you. Yeah. Okay. That's 11. Are we smiting? Do it, do it. It Let's would go. be 48. Fuck him up. I think these guys are immune. No, they are not immune to being thrown. Okay, then. Here we go. Okay, so as it takes, that is going to be... Mm. Alright, let's combine this. That will be 29. Holy shit. Total of piercing and force damage. Having that would be... 15 to the rug. And 14 to you, Sinatus. But the rug okay. does get put under an effect because an Elcher Smite knocks it prone and actually makes it break break its grip on you. Then that actually did help. Hmm, nice. Let's go. So there's only one on you. 14, right? Yep, 14. Okay. That puts me at 22. Yeah. Access token. There we go. All right, then. That was pretty effective. I'll hop up for bonus. Uh, you can't hop all the way to the second floor, but you can hop up to where Gian is. Hello. Yep. Hop. And what a badass. I I mean, technically the rug can try to attack of opportunity, but not... Yeah, it's not gonna... <laughs> can't. <laughs> I know, it, even, it won't even trigger because buddy hop. Forgot about that. Yeah. Alright, you're, you're safe. Well, that was satisfying, not being smothered by furniture again. Okay, that's my turn. Look, Gion. Character progression. Murdoch. <laughs> hey. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna chromatic orb again. Alright then, which one? Um, the one in front of Marnet. Okay, go ahead. That's enough. Nice. Hey. Let me go again. Oh boy. 
I think it's. Is it just dead? Nope, it has three. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> Finn. Finn, don't disappoint me. Finn. Please. Please. That's enough. Hey. Oh. Holy. Hey. Finn has been hitting 200% more than normal. That, wow. Holy wow. fuck. Well, yeah, it's dead. Huh. Oh, no. <laughs> we definitely didn't disappoint. Okay. Nice. Okay, yeah, that's my turn. Arlay. Okay. What's your HP status? Uh, 22, I'm fine. Oh, do, do, do. do you want to do... The only two left are the ones on Sinatus. I could, well, I could one burn him eventually. <laughs> Actually, you could go up to the prone one and smack it at advantage, I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah, just barely not. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Does it only have advantage on melee? <laughs> yeah. Yep. I mean, you could summon animals, that will do it for you. Yeah, but it's it really really I mean, it'll be faster. You could just dispel magic the last one and then you could just bong 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 bong. That too. True. We all go before it. Uh, yep. You, you can do the. You have the. You're near, you can just do the boss. <laughs> I will say that this was literally just your test to grant to get you used to your level 7 abilities. <laughs> you do you. You know what? Yeah, let's just dispel magic, the one how you see names. And the one that's not on the ground. Alright then. Dispel magic, con save on that. Third level. Yeah. Yep. Okay. And well, it's going to try and con save that, which is going to roll a four. No, they do not have wow. good con. It is unconscious. All right, nice. And Sinatus is no longer grappled. Nice. I can see now. Yep, you can see. Huh. Well, that's refreshing. And you know what? As just... how does our yeah, I actually know we already know the answer of how Arlie dispels. Yeah, all right. Yep. Pain swirls around and frees Sinatus. What do you want to do out next? I'll just heal Sinatus and that's Uh, you already did use a spell oh, slot. Oh, wait, no, yeah, never mind. Uh... Damn. <laughs> Move your totem now. Hmm. Now. Now. Uh, well. What else? Actually, uh, maybe I'll move right to the gate for the next one. That being it, Freddy. Ready? Let's go. Okay, okay, I'm here. Um, internet was being a bitch. Oh, um, right. yeah, he's just gonna, I guess, go to Senatus. Hey, 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 hey. Go in and help. All right then. Uh, wait. He was like here. Yeah, I can reach the one that's... I think they have advantage on... And okay. Actually, yeah, they it would it, it, they would already have it. I guess only... I guess the difference is on, I guess, on ranged people, but... Yeah. yeah. All right, then. Yeah, doing that, and that's it. Okay. Kian, pummeling time. Yep. Uh, going up to the green one. And smacking the... The conscious one or the prone one? The prone one. Oh. 
they sure eat it up joke. on the ground. Yep, that's good. We have one more. Beat it up, beat it up. That's 16. I, wait, I, is it actually enough? Uh, yeah, that actually is enough. Okay, you can get the other one. Going to the next one. Come on, man. Advantage as well. That's enough. I'm gonna pull through them into the ground. Crit on this one. Double your mods. Yep. It's unconscious, so it's a crit. Wow. Well, that's still 18. And it's awake. Marla? That's no longer prone. Just normal hit for Marla, then. That's surprisingly still enough. That is... let's see... It is gone! Alright then, Marlot, with the finishing blow, punches this thing as it lays there, unconscious. And that is this nice. little character. <laughs> Over. Da 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 And well, we'll play this. And with that being said, let's just double check here. Whoop, there we go. <sighs> with that being said, seeing as that fight essentially lasted less than a minute, with everyone reacting quick enough, the commotion causes the rest of the students who arrive back from the biblioplex to arrive on the scene, seeing that you've all dispatched some rugs. I'm gonna check on Kayla. It's just... Mm -hmm. Sulking here in the corner. Hey, it's okay. It's just an accident. <laughs> He's... Not even looking at you. It's almost as if... Roll me another insight check. <laughs> Let me just double check this and... Woo. Oh god, not that bar. Turn off the bar is what I wanted to do. You feel like she's not even looking at you until you notice what she's doing specifically and essentially trying to pull the bookshelf out of the way where she's looking at somewhere empty. You look over and see what looks like small, a small half your size tunnel. She breathes a sigh of relief, and then she sees you over there and pushes it all the way, pushes it back. It... that was... how oh, it's dealt with. Oh. She breathes a sigh of relief. I'm... I'm fine. And then, well... You see that, uh, well, we see Yvonne walking up closer to you all, and then from over here, you hear the, you hear one of the, you hear one of the students before, don't trust that one. She was talking to someone. We saw it. Yeah, he's on. He's literally on the railing. Oh. I was gonna tell him, like, can you guys deal with that? I'll talk to you. 
and well, you, you, you get one more. <coughs> I'd be more energetic, energetic and saying it if I wasn't sick, but yeah. <laughs> you just hear one last comment of, don't trust that witch. Uh, Gyan walks up near the statue and just says, Nobody did anything, it was just a freak accident. Hmm. <sighs> well. And then. Uh, anyone doing anything? I'm gonna speak in a more low voice so that you can hear, like. I won't tell you one, but. Uh, I'm gonna start picking up the fucking rugs. Roll me a persuasion check, Arlie. Oh boy, persuasion. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah, that's... That'll get you something. It's... She doesn't want to be seen. Hmm? That's not enough to convince her to say anything more. Murdoch, roll me your own perception check as your Murdoch and Sinatus as the farthest people out closest to the crowds. Okay. Perception check. That's uh, schedule it. Why the fuck am I in there? Can I uh, use Mel's bone and try to calm them down? Sure. <laughs> no, wow. I'll, I'll use my last one. How much did you get? That's a 17. Murdoch, you hear just one whisper. One mentioning... She's the one that caused it, you know? Sickness. Talking to someone behind those walls over and over again. Hmm. Just over here, that. Eventually, a crowd is calming down. See, everyone sees that Ivana is stepping up, aiding in Gion's efforts. Now, now. The situation's been resolved. Nobody's. her. looks to see this. seriously hurt. Hmm. <laughs> Everything is all right. Please return to your duties. We are about to finish up. Thank you. What's everyone do? I'm just cleaning up the rugs. Yep. Yeah, I'll help. Up. All right then. Just. <sighs> Gan Gan will help clear up the crowds, I guess. Yep. If there is any. Right. Anyone else moving to interact or anything? Crowd's calming down. Everyone's just essentially waiting for you all to do something. Anyone talk to anyone else? Move? Whatever. Mm. How badly damaged are the rugs? <coughs> Pretty. Yeah. 
<laughs> you, burned, you burned like how many of them? Don't worry. Look, okay. This was on our account. Mm. You Can I try to fix it with done. mending? Eventually, yeah. Some of the holes are a bit too big, but you make the situation easier. Okay. Ella, darling. Are you alright? More or less. Is what they're saying true? Silence. <clears throat> Do you want us to take you back? Probably. Alright. We'll handle her. Thank you all for helping with this. Now, Kayla, let's go. Alright. The last chance. Anyone doing anything? Mm. No, just yeah. looking at her. Same. Everyone, all right. As they move up to the third floor and everything else seems to calm down, uh, everyone, roll me one last perception check. Okay. Oh wow! Oh, well, shit. that's something. Wow! Oh, oh, oh my fucking god! I... <laughs> wow! Damn, everyone. Huh. Watch me roll worse. Yep. Wait, what are we rolling? Perception. As Maradoc was yeah. looking. You know what? Alright. Practically everyone sees it, but the clearest eyes are Midnight, Murdoch, Sinatus, and... As they walk forward... Being dragged to their own... Well area as everything else is calming down people are getting back to their normal duties you three see them most clearly inside kayla's pocket just barely poking out silver mask a purple gem and that mm. where we will be ending this session trick haven a curriculum of chaos. Oh, fuck. Can't trust green people. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. Well, didn't know it, but I guess. Never trusting green people ever again. All of them are Witherbloom! Fuck yep. that place! <laughs> the plot thickens. See you next time. Man, let's just nuke Witherbloom. Wow. No. Any last words before we say bye to YouTube? Fuck you, YouTube. You suck. Bye, YouTube. Bye-bye. <laughs> and... You're like...